Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats, dogs, children of all ages. Whoops, I didn't change that. That's my bad. Welcome to the mix. Come, <laughs> I used my no, sticker. No. See, I break things. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, know. cats, dogs, children of all ages, welcome to the comics. A fun show that we got here for you today that you may or may not see uh, in the notifications. We're going to be talking about the latest news and rumors that just recently happened this last week in Marvel, in DC, in anything and everything in between. Additionally, we got some fun things to talk about as far as uh, what's happening in the games world. Uh, we recently just had two Sp two Spider-Man games come out in the past couple of years. Of course, uh, last year, most recently, Marvel Avengers. But where's DC? Right? Last thing yep. we heard about with them was yep. Arkham. We got yep. some fun things and questions at you at the end. As you know, my name is Nighthawk, a.k.a. Matt. Switch that around, Matt, a.k.a. Nighthawk. That handsome gentleman over there is Frank, a.k.a. Technique. What's up, buddy? How you doing? What's going on? I'm doing good, man. I'm trying to uh, officially wake up, wake up. Because, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that change, uh, doing some new time experimentations, uh, going full time. Is, yeah, man. Is uh it's a lot of experimenting and uh you know i switched from 7 to 12 p.m eastern normally to 9 p.m to 5 in the morning so uh yeah we're, we're trying to see if the dj hours work or not and it's, it's been you know it's been back and forth you know one day you're hitting <laughs> hitting giant numbers you're like oh yeah baby and then the next day you're you're hitting like i don't know whatever can people consider normal and then you're just kind of like hey and then last night i was like oh, i'm probably gonna change next week and then i hit giant numbers again. <laughs> i don't know man it's whatever it's whatever but i'm here i'm good not not, not missing the show yeah i mean um, like, this one this one's pretty cool because uh you know we've been talking about you know uh netflix we've been talking about amazon yeah. prime and invincible uh you know we've hit a briefly on you know what was happening in the ncu and, and this is kind of like my forte now right we're gonna be talking about video games you know um i know we briefly talked about it uh, you know, for for the community that doesn't know, I worked in the video game industry for for nearly a decade. Um, on the forefront, we made awesome collectibles, and actually, some of the things that you have behind you, and obviously behind me as well, I'm sure many at home, I've I've worked on as far as like collectibles and collector's edition statues, so on and so forth. But uh, during during the the latter part of my tenure, we actually did a lot of in-game development, 2D and 3D art for games. And though I wasn't the one making the art. Uh, myself and one other person were um, uh, kind of spearheading the uh, the art director side of things, we'll call it. So, so as far as like delays and what's going on, you know where things are. I mean, I actually do know a lot, so I gotta make sure I, I uh, I'm smart with what I'm saying. But I'm I'm pretty excited to to talk about that. And then obviously, uh, there has been a lot of craziness that happened this week uh, in movies and TV and just everything in general when it comes to comics and and um the, the media that we grew up on it's it was wild it was wild for sure yeah yeah so i mean yeah we got a uh, very interesting news a lot of news some news that uh it's gonna be kind of upsetting uh just because yeah. you know you you get very used to seeing the same uh, you know actors play the same characters for a long time i mean you know the mcu may feel like it's just started but it's been there for a long time has uh they just had their 10 year anniversary not too long ago so we're like on 11 12 years right yeah. now with 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 mcu and dceu is just uh you know they they've been hamming it up and they they can't seem to get a hold on people but i think i think the casting is getting there i mean jason yeah. ackles is probably the best casting they've done um in my <laughs> well i'm not gonna say the best i mean uh <clears throat> i'm not gonna say the best because Henry Henry is he's pretty amazing. What um well. speaking of which, you know, because you said you know switching characters and everything, and I know that's going to lead into one of the pieces of news. Um, mm -hmm. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but has Marvel once a movie has come out, has they recast a main character? We're not uh, gonna. I guess yeah. Thanos kind of right. Like they had they had that gentleman at the end of that first uh, movie, and then yes they just and, decided yes to go CGI. No. Yeah, he was completely CGI'd. So yes and no. Um, I don't. I can't think of anything looked, else. You know, looking back at that, that looked horrible. Um, that that was very <laughs> CG. It it looked like a cutscene in the game, honestly. Um, yeah, if you don't yeah, know what we're talking really, about, we're the, not gonna we're not of... gonna include we're not gonna yeah the Hulk yeah the Hulk is a big one, but yeah, that you, is see, true. That was kind of what's that up, was you nerd? Pulled around and owned by multiple studios, so that's why I was like, I don't want to like put the hulk and x-men in that bracket you know 
Because they oh, were kind of yeah. before the MCU was the MCU. It was just kind of like there. Um, yeah, I guess as far yeah, as the, the actual whole, MCU the whole that we the know. Most. That's the most noticeable one, yeah. I, I, I mean, honestly. We've had three Spider-Man, actually, now that I'm thinking of it. Yeah, because the Sony. And Batman, you know? So too, it's just yeah. like, hey, what's up, uh, the new nerd? So it's like, you know, all that. All that stuff, but uh, you know, and uh, Logan is changing. Um, you know, Wolverine, which is still gonna be which, weird. I'm sorry. Well, it changed three times. It changed behind the scenes because apparently they had the perfect Wolverine, looks wise, but acting wise, he wasn't there. Um, you know, and then they brought Hugh Jackman on. Wait, this who guy was, never made it. Who to was the, before you? I for, I forgot, but he never made it to the screen. It was I okay. Who cl- the guy clearly, was. yeah. He looked like it, but apparently the new guy looks exactly like Wolverine. Um, and you know, whenever they debut him, uh, for whatever X-Men movie that's coming, uh, which I believe is just going to be a part of the MCU and, and, and Wolverine's gonna be a cameo. I, I just yeah. have a big feeling uh, that's what's going to happen. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. So when it comes to all that stuff, uh, it's, it's hard to, to get used to seeing somebody in the position. You're just like, I mean, let's just be real. If, if Benedict Cumberbatch is not, not a strange, it's, I mean, the world's going to burn. Yeah. You know, it's like. Now, so especially, it, I find yeah. it very interesting, huh? Yeah, I said, you know, yeah, especially yeah. after the one movie and then obviously the Avenger yeah. films, like, I think of Doctor Strange, and that's who I see. I mean, yeah, you can get a little corny yeah. and do multiverse stuff now, I mean, which is one of the things that we've finally got confirmed, apparently, but, um, which we'll talk about here in a second. It's it's the same thing as seeing... I mean, look uh, at Captain different... America, Chris Evans. People, yeah. People, uh, when, uh, what's his name? Fantastic. Uh, Four Human Torch, that's <clears throat> not our Captain America. Uh yeah 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 when the, uh, he got death threats man like people wow. were pissed when they saw <laughs> um you know I forgot I got the actor's name that played Walker but when they saw him in that film and then like oh, that, especially yeah. that scene when he you know he killed a person um they people and fans fans are on some other stuff uh so <laughs> it's gonna be very interesting to see how they adapt to new people taking over or or not seeing your favorite hero slash a sidekick in a movie because you know someone decides to quit and that's kind of where we're gonna you know segue into segue into our news we got a lot of it i got a lot of news pulled up oh, um yeah. so oh, yeah uh david bautista the guy the, the man the myth, the legend himself who had a really big weekend this weekend with um or friday with uh army of the dead yep um you know he steps he stepped down to from uh, from doing a dc movie which was uh suicide squad to to do other things um, which is coming in the future, which we're, we're very excited about, honestly, um, because Gears of War is where he's going, which is which is perfect for him because he looks like he's he should be in Gears of War. Yeah, um, he's Marcus. He's quitting he's one Guardians of the, of the Galaxy, yeah. man. That's he's that's quitting. big. That's big. Now, where um, did you where damn. did you see that news come from? Uh, it's uh, Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, he did a a um, the sources. He did a, a talk with Ellen DeGeneres. Um, so at 52 years old, a wrestler turned Marvel action hero Dave Batista is in better shape than most 22 year olds, which is true. Definitely in better shape than me, and I'm not 22. <clears throat> but he's still a little self conscious about his appearance. So, uh, you know, he has the body dis what is it called? Dysmorphia? Dysmorphia? The, the, anyway, when you just don't like your body, uh, yeah, you think yeah, your body you is not as good as it is. I mean, we look at Dave Batista and we're like, man, he's a, he's a god, dude. And I, and when I saw he was 52 years old, my, my jaw dropped and hit the floor. I thought he was in his 40s, man. You oh, know? yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, he said that I'm going to be 54 years old and Time Guardians 3 comes out. Um, he told DeGeneres Two about why he'll no longer play Drax the Destroyer. The shirtless thing is getting harder and harder for me. Um, he also says that, uh, he, he never was right in the head when James Gunn got fired earlier. In, yeah, uh, there was a the lot, moment. there was a lot of, th- that whole crew was done they with it. Lost, like, they yeah, were they almost all lost out. the whole Guardian. Yeah. Um, uh, he said he was the one that really changed the course of his life, which is true. I mean, you know, he pretty much snatched him out of, out of, uh, dis- yeah, there you go. Dysphoria. Thank you so very much. Kind of snatched him out of, you know, wrestling, so to speak. And yeah. then put him into a role where he's, I, I feel like he's meant to be. The guy is a great actor. Yeah. I mean, um, for as much as it is a supporting role, it is a main role. And that was, I mean, oh, he's you, a, you he's say, a like, huge it's, it's, role. It's big. Yeah. When you say Guardians of the Galaxy, he's one of the first names that pop up. I mean, he's yep. he's part of the main crew, and and like, Drax was the comic relief that we needed. Everyone talks about, mm-hmm. um, you know, Pratt's character. Or, you know, Star Lord and Pratt. Yeah, yeah. Star Lord is. I mean, honestly, I felt like Drax was more was the comic, especially with the recent uh, iterations of Guardians of the Galaxy. The more and more we get to see Drax, the better it gets. I mean, in game, Drax was awesome. 
You know, I mean, it was just certain thing. And, and even even though he didn't have a lot of screen time, that kind of explains why his screen time was cut. Uh, you know, he's just not conscious about his body. And I, I think he I think he's great. He's an alien, bro. It's like, I don't so, know, man. So to clarify, I, is he because this is actually a great question by the new nerd. Is it is yeah. he done after three or is he stepping away from three? Um, it says <laughs> and I quote. <laughs> yeah. Says he's quitting. Let's see. Um, well, and, I mean, the way they reported it, it seems like he will do three, because because yeah, I mean, obviously, oh, here we go. Oh, oh, let's see. Gun was oh, when Gun was rehired for Volume Three, uh, shooting later this year. DC released comics based movie, The Suicide Squad, is currently rescheduled to arrive in theaters May fifth, twenty twenty three. Yep, two years uh, from now. Let's see. Bautista said that Gun is likely stepping away from MCU following the follow final. Yes, so it looks like he's gonna do. It's like he's gonna leave with Gun because that that that's the ultimate thing for him. Yeah, because now Gun is very heavy. Gun's into already DC. announced that his last. Yeah, his last. This is his last film. Well, he just finished Suicide Squad, and then he's go. Oh yeah, because that's actually that's something big. He's going to the TV. He's going to TV. He wrote for. Yeah. He wrote a Suicide Squad. I think it was a John Cena's character, right? Uh, what is it called? The Patriot. Mm -hmm. I think is his character in Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. He's going to TV. He's writing it like Matt Reeves is going in and doing the the Batman for HBO Max. And he apparently has had so much fun with it. I guess that yeah. ties into why he's not going into it anymore. He's it really sense. enjoyed uh, working on TV, I guess, and expanding on those characters. So, I mean, that's actually two big news because then um, yeah. obvious Peacemaker, not, not Patriot. Patriot is, oh God, yeah. Uh, Peacemaker, thank you. Um, the cocky. Ooh rated R version of Captain America, essentially, that uses guns. Um, oh, yeah, that's it, dude. Yeah. So, so uh, Maltese is going to do, he's going to do it. Thank goodness, because that, that would have been horrible for the MCU. But he, like, literally, once Gun is gone, I'm pretty sure that whole crew is going to dissipate. Um, because we might not see any more Guardians in the Galaxy after that. Because... Drax, I mean, uh, excuse me, Dave Bautista is definitely going to be gone after when he said, if gun leaves, I'm I'm done. He said when he's done, I'm done. So yeah. there we go. We have confirmation that he is. I didn't get down all the way to the bottom. So looking, <laughs> but we do the have confirmation print. he's going to do uh, <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy, which I'm, I'm sad because honestly, I think Guardians of the Galaxy is one of the strong fronts. Uh, yeah. And actually, like, like, right? like because, Seth said, like, I actually really enjoyed, like you said, I watched, I love Drax in those movies, yeah. especially his relationship with Gamora because his family was killed by by uh by Thanos and Gamora was the the the, the daughter of Thanos. Like that whole yeah. story arc from that first one and leading out of it, it was actually really entertaining and enjoyable. And mm -hmm. um outside of Iron Man and now Captain America, I mean this is outside of writing, right? This is gonna be mm -hmm. the first real big change of of taking people away from roles essentially and moving things around yeah i mean they're they're billboards okay that's <laughs> asking for Don, robert downey jr to come back people are paying yeah. big money to put billboards up to reach out to robert downey jr you could just put a message on his dang instagram you know like my, my god but but cause he's very active he's a he's a he's he's a social media guru oh, yeah, now dude he is. he's all about social media but people were putting up billboards. Like there's somebody that went out that didn't believe that somebody actually, like there was a team that put up a billboard, a huge one. This is one that costs probably like $10,000 to have up or plus. Uh, no, $10,000 is actually like a small billboard. It's probably like 25 to 30. And it said, bring back <laughs> our Iron Man, Tony Stark. And, and like is, huge. This like, is fans. Fans are yeah. very uh, passionate. Are adamant. <laughs> and I adamant love it. Of what they want. I love it, dude. I, honestly, like, I felt I felt like a piece of me died when oh god when he was gone, dude. I'm like, what am I, I gonna was... do? And Chris Evans stepping, I was like, what am I gonna do? Like, you know, it's like, but at I, least but there's a loophole for Chris Evans. Yeah, but they, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's technically coming back, but but honestly, it's just so many. And granted, we don't know in what degree he's coming back. That yeah. that contract could have been what if because they all voiced those characters. So yeah, I mean, even we don't know the details Chad. of that. Uh, you know, I, I want, I would love for him to come back in the multiverse. I would love for everybody to come back in the multiverse, you know? Yeah. Um, it, it, that would be dope. But anyway, uh, I mean, that on. was pretty big in that. And that recently just was, was brought out there. You said, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. one other piece of MCU news that just recently popped up was, uh, 
Um, it looks like it's official confirmation, but uh, WandaVision star Elizabeth Olsen, Wanda Maximoff, uh, officially the Scarlet Witch, uh, it's been confirmed by her that the Scarlet Witch can indeed travel between different universes. I mean, it's always been theory that we talked about, people messaging and obviously seeing Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. I mean, this is our first big going out there piece that mm -hmm. this is really where we're going. I mean, it's been there. We've all had the ideas and obviously the end of WandaVision here, hearing the voices of her children in one way, shape, form, or, 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 or version of them. But this was her actually saying to the Hollywood reporter that she has a few fun powers, you know, telekinesis, and she can travel between different universes. I mean, That's pretty sense. big. I mean, That's I pretty mean, big. It, make, it makes sense. Her power comes from, well, majority of her power comes from the stone. So, I mean, that's, it's a mind stone at that. So, I mean, it, it makes a lot of sense. The infinity yeah. stones are, I mean, those are, those are cosmic relics that can do the impossible. I mean, once you get into cosmic powers and anything is possible, anything so, is possible. Yeah. You know, I, I I'm down for it. Uh, I just hope that they don't, try to smash too much stuff in one thing, which I, I have confidence. I mean, you know, in game and infinity wars was just, those were two confirmations that they can put a lot of characters together. I just don't want them killing off like really cool villains super fast. You know I mean? I, just, uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I mean that that's the scary thing with Marvel, right? And we've actually, it, yeah. it keeps on coming up. Like they just, they just do it. I mean, Ultron. Yeah. We don't think he's dead, but Ultron, I mean, like it's, uh, well, the, I mean, the, there's a the, lot the, of people we are skeptical about, like Mysterio. Um, there's no confirmation that he died. True. What uh, was the, know, the like, Dark there, Elf, a... uh, Malachi? He's a huge yeah. character in the MCU, and well, I and mean, he's theoretically the, the dead. person that Mysterio may have died, but Mysterio, because at yeah. the end of you know Spider Man, there was that guy that was just like, <laughs> oh, yes, I love technology, you know that dude. So <laughs> he, you know, he could be. Con because Mysterio, there's Mysterio clones as well. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, like when I say by clones, but like mechanical Mysterios that was controlled from a home base that was sent out to F with Spider-Man. There was like yeah. multiple of them built, you know? So, I mean, that that, that can happen. Uh, Loki's coming out soon. Uh, yes, we are like funny thing, two weeks yeah, away, Loki's give or take. Out. I'm very excited. Uh, that guy is absolutely Ooh. perfect for Loki. Uh, 1,000%. He is Loki to me. Uh, Thomas the funny thing is, is that they were gonna, one, yeah. Yeah, they were going to kill Loki off. If you guys didn't know, uh, I mean, they <laughs> <don't> did. <worry. laughs> yeah, they were going to officially kill him off uh, during uh, uh, one of the people say the worst MCU movies is Thor Dark World, which oh, so I enjoyed. Whatever. Really? Yeah, I, I enjoyed all. I enjoyed all of them. I enjoyed Thor for what it was. I, I never looked yeah. at Thor as something serious because you have two versions of Thor, right? You have you have the God Thor in the comic books. That's just like you don't you don't mess with this dude. And then you have the Thor that's kind of like a comic relief Thor. And they kind of like went with both, but they kind of pushed the comic relief, you know, while introducing Thor. Uh, the first Thor movie yeah. was, I thought it was really great because I was just like, okay, yeah. this is a this is a side of MCU that's kind of like interesting. Um, you know, it's outside the box of all the seriousness that's going on. But anyway, yeah, they were supposed to kill him off in uh, Thor The Dark World. So funny, and it's going to be really interesting to see but the popularity of Loki saved oh, it's that massive. Yeah. Uh, there's people Everyone that, loved him. Uh, yeah, there's people that love Loki better than Thor. I, I want to say Loki's probably got more of a fan base than Thor has a fan base. Um, but his popularity saved him. And it's kind of funny how writing changes in the MCU based on us. So the fans have the power, man. At oh, the end yeah, of the day, absolutely. that's what it is. Um, that's why I'm not even mad about people putting up a billboard wanting Robert Downey Jr. back. Because the fans have the power. Robert Downey Jr. knows he's a monster for MCU. So he he just ups his price. His his team is like, look, I know they want to pay you 30 million. We need to go a hundred million. <laughs> Done. Let's go. Simple as that. And he's just like, you know, you're right. What are they gonna do? I'm Tony Stark. Oh, I'm Iron God. Man. You know, and he goes to the team. And he's like, yo, I'm out. If you don't pay me a hundred million, people are like, yo, take we, where is this money gonna come from? What and are people we are like, yo, do? take from my money. Just take from my money. We need to have you here. And like that's powerful. You know you're a powerhouse when you can make other gigantic actors just yeah. as big as you split their check so you can have more money. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know what it's gonna take to bring Robert, Robert Downey Jr. back, but whatever it is, if the fans pull together, just like we got Loki, his own show, my yeah. <laughs> my, my I add you, 
uh, that they have to fill in a ton of gaps. They yeah. literally had to write in ways to keep Loki interesting. And not only that, even before it came out, it already got signed on for a second season. Before Falcon and Winter Soldier, obviously yeah. we know what's going on with the movie. Before WandaVision, I mean, those two were already out there, and we already have a second season confirmed of Loki. And He's too in, important. In theory, this character is dead in the current timeline of the MCU, so like... Yeah. If they or can is bring... He? Or if, is he? It's or Loki. Is he? He's a god of mischief. Yes, he is the god Simple of mischief. Simple as that. I mean, no, everyone's... Yeah. I mean, even though Thanos said you're not coming back this time, you know, you're not coming back this time or whatever it was. He's, you don't know. You don't there's know. A, there's a really, I'll just put it this way. There's a really, really large, ginormous, big reason why Loki stood up for Thor in the way he did. Yeah. And Loki never does anything in the idea of my brother. Yeah. It's never that way. It's always selfish. And, and, and we don't, the funny, the biggest thing is Loki is not like Thor. This guy could probably come back a thousand times due to the fact of his actual heritage. We don't know much about it. Yeah. Not the MCU version. Anyway, not the MCU we, we version. We just don't know yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah I mean, we, wait we, for we, Ironheart. Me too. Me Ironheart's going to be a fun series. And the way they're... the way they're Crossing my fingers, dude. Well, uh, <laughs> the, the way they've been producing these shows... Um, mm. I'm hopeful that it's going to be... I actually kind of want them to go back a little bit like Iron Man 1 and make it more physical instead of uh, more CG because it kind of gave me the Wolverine uh, feel after a while with claws. But I, hey, I we'll, think it's fine we'll where it's see. At. That was years ago, you know? So, yeah, uh, you know, uh, CG is so... I mean, look at look at Winter Soldier, uh, Falcon Winter Soldier. That that was CG like heavily in it. It was really good too. It was... <laughs> Uh, I, I don't even know, like, you know, I think every 10 years we look back at, you know, movies and we're like, man, that was so great. And that looks so amazing. And the next thing, you know, you look at it 10 years later, like, man, that's hella CG. That don't look good. You know, <laughs> so I don't know how I'm going to view Falcon Winter Soldier. I think we're getting to a point now where you just can't tell the difference between reality and CG. You well, know, the, you, the only, great... you only have to say, I, that's no way that that person could do that, you know, type thing. Uh, and and it's yeah, getting Loki. even crazier for TV because of of everything yeah. they did with uh, Mandalorian. I forgot what the term used for it, but how you're not on like a green screen, you're on that yeah. uh, that TV LED OLED set. I forgot the exact term mm -hmm. for it, but that's um that's been a huge huge spin not only for movies and TV as well to kind of bridge that gap and, and getting rid of that uncanny valley vibe. Yeah. Yeah, the TV series are supposed to for Loki is supposed to fill in the gaps. Um, yes. it's supposed to answer the questions of what happened between X and X. Um, so, and I think season two may be a big reveal of what happened. What happens next to Loki? Probably going to be a cliffhanger at the end of season two that leads into a movie, more than likely. Um, with Thor, there is no way that they're not going to put Loki in that movie. Man, I, I, I know it's not about Loki, but come on. I mean, if you, you know if you know the Love and Thunder series, it's really cool. I mean, they've gotten Natalie mm -hmm. Portman to come back when she was she's at the ripped, end of the two. Way. She was done. Yeah, if you see pictures ripped. of her, she is yeah. ripped. I was like, what? What happened to Brie? L anyway, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Brie. I love you know, you, I Brie. love you, but she does some amazing things too for you, video games. You've and been in the gym forever, but yeah. how is how is Natalie Portman? How is our our Star Wars young young? <laughs> got like 20 packs and you anyway 20 uh, packs. <laughs> she's captain marvel for god's sake oh my god anyway, but anyway um, uh that's, yeah moving on <laughs> we've been we've been very uh obviously marvel heavy on the news um yeah. as far as dc, DC there's been yeah, DC three news. there was some three big D pieces of dc information at least for me that came out that pulls on my old school um growing up Saturday morning cartoons. I actually not even really growing up. I was a little bit older when it came out, but one of the big pieces that came out from Warner Brothers, we're not even going to go into the buyout, was um, we're getting a brand new animated uh, series Batman. called Batman Cape Crusader uh, from Matt Reeves, J.J. Abrams, and for me, the big one, and you'll know the Abrams. name and why, Bruce Timms. We're going back to Old school, baby. the Batman animated series, uh, Batman. the adventures of Batman. Like, like, like I hear the, I hear the audio Batman beyond, like I hear the theme song in my head mm -hmm. right now. And if you look at the, the visual art for it, the, the one piece of uh, like the original, uh, poster, the stupid ears. 
You gotta now. It could be. It could be. That may not be the design of Batman. It could be a little bit um um artistified, if that's even a word. But um, it, it definitely has that Bruce Tim vibe. And for me, does. like we've does. talked about that before. DC Animated has hit the nail on the head so many times. I'm so very happy to get this news and see it coming to fruition. Because I am, I want this in my life. Like this is something I'm hype personified for. And I don't know about all you. Thinking about it gives me so much hope for for those those cartoons again. Oh, the volume, that's what it's called. Disney is the volume. Uh, bringing, yeah, 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 the yeah. volume. Yeah, it looks super amazing. I love it. I love it. We're gonna bounce back and forth with that. Yeah, the bat. <laughs> I love Bruce Tim. Like I, I know, I know you guys probably think I'm a hater for DC. I'm not. I'm I'm upset for DC fans. That that's the biggest. I'm super upset yeah, for, for those DC of fans. you who haven't seen it. Here you go, chat. You should see. The there we go. Why, that's, a, that's a cut of it right over here. Yeah, bring Mark Hamill back. God dang it, dude. <laughs> like, Mark Hamill could be 100 years old and still bring out the best Joker voice in the business. Um, Yeah, it's... No, no. Let's bring it down a little bit so you can see that ugliness. I just... just I, I, I like it. Bring like, it back. Like, there the it is, fact there that is, he has is, to there adjust there his frame right now. <laughs> that's ugly as hell. That don't even look like bad ears. What, it look like horns or... He looks like a, I know they're trying to make him look like a demon or something. Oh, man. I don't know, bro. I, I see the Batman so good. Just chop off the... All yeah, literally, uh, like, know, like, like uh, this, this, this. Oh, you can't see, you can't see my mouse, but like from here down, it's perfect. Great. I do it's agree with you. The the like winged out horn type vibe things are a little bit funky. It's a little yeah, bit it's funky. A little funky. Uh, I, I don't know what to think about that. I don't know why. It's like okay, we can't do the original because that you know I don't know I don't like it. I don't want to take it back. We got to be something new and edgy. I don't know. It's whatever. <laughs> but I'm excited for it. I mean, hopefully it hits. I mean, the second iteration of the Batman when it came out in the past, uh, you know, after the original the Batman, the one with the Joker that was kind of the, the art was a little, you know, kind of stylized. That yeah. was actually really good. Mark Hamill still played the Joker. Yeah. Um, it was it was actually really really good. I I, I enjoyed it. It didn't go too far in seasons because no. I mean you know, cartoons for kids these days, so to speak. I say for kids, but you know it's for us. They they're just not interested in that stuff. They're interested in reality TVs, man. It's just kind of the the direction that we went. But funny thing is, more news in DC. Uh, wait, 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 Kane, get me Batman, but make it more Angelina Jolie and Maleficent. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Actually, actually, that's yeah. It. Oh my God, Kane. Actually, yeah. Nice I, I'm one. down nice for that. One. I'm oh, actually down for that. That's the horns. That's the horns. Yeah, GGs. Yeah. I'm actually uh, down for that reiteration. I can see that. But that's yeah. not the only piece. Go ahead. Yeah, Batgirl movie picks up a director. Finally. But it's not just one, it's two. Oh, God. Oh, God, what are we doing? <laughs> oh, God, so we, we were going with the, yeah. yeah sheesh. Uh, you know, like, why? DC has this thing. Okay, all right, you have Russo brothers and stuff like that. Understandable. But these guys have been working together forever. They're brothers, for God's sakes, right? I mean, they, they know what they're doing. Oh, yeah. Hey, me. Okay, so they got a directing pair. I'm going to murder these names. Adil L. R. B. and no Bial Fala. Uh, the duo responsible for Dr. Oh, no, no. For what? I mean, oh, 2020's Bad Boys for Life. Okay, I'm happy now. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> they, I told you, it's a roller coaster. They're used to it. It's a roller coaster ride reading yeah, anything. It's a roller coaster DC ride with DC. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, Batgirl, that's, that's essentially Bad Boys. Okay, I'm down for that, dude. Like, I can see yeah. that. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be on HBO Max, of course. HBO is pretty much the premier spot for DC now. So is it a series um, or with, is it a movie? Is it a direct to direct to uh, it's movie? A movie? It's a movie. Oh, okay. Movie. So that's actually a first for them, and actually yep, for proud. Disney Plus as well. It's a, it's an actual movie that's going straight to uh, on demand media instead of a series. Yep. Uh, Kristen Kristen Burr will be producing it. Um, not much is known about this film. It will follow Barbara Gordon, the daughter of Gotham City Police Commissioner, of course, James Gordon, um, as a hero, a superhero. Uh, I wonder. I really am very very interested in seeing this. Actually, I'm, I really want to see it. Uh, while there's been many characters in the world of DC Comics, Hell, Batgirl, Cow, the film is starting off with the with the original, the original. Interesting. The original. That's big news because they have been throwing around Batgirl left and right lately yeah. with the TV series. Yep. People have yep. been voicing their opinion about it all. Um, but they're going back to the roots now. This is very interesting because. When they say the original, this means that she is canon. So who's canon Batman? Like, who is it going to be? And is there going to be a love interest? Is there going to be training involved? Oh, my gosh. Like, 
This is big news, actually. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, that's that. That's that's pretty big. How they're gonna they have play that out and push that uh, through yet? They, they don't. They don't have anybody yet. As of who? I, I guess they're keeping that under NDA wraps. As of who is playing her? Yeah, they haven't announced that yet. You're right. But that's huge, man. I'm very okay. You call color me interested because color me interested. Yeah, it's if they're saying like the originals are strong words being used by DC. Yes. Um, I would love to see Jason Ackles as that Batman. If, if they're going to go like with a flat, if, if I understand, I know you guys probably think I'm crazy because we have Ben Affleck, we have we have Patterson, but honestly, uh, what, what's the what's the thing coming out? Wait, um, I'm sorry. Jason- what, what did I miss? Jensen Ackles is Batman. Am I missing something? Yeah, and yeah, oh yeah, you're missing something. In uh, uh, uh Halloween, uh, oh, Batman along voicing, Halloween. Oh, he's He's voicing back. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I was like, right. wait, did they just cast another Batman for something and I missed it? <laughs> no. Okay. Not for long Halloween, but I, I wouldn't be sad to see him as Batman. No, I wouldn't Jason be either. Jason Ackles would kill it. I mean, I like him more of, of the Red Hood from everything we've seen with him. I really I want him to be Red Hood, but they seem like they're going away from I mean, hell, he would be great for Nightwing. Yeah, he would Honestly. be good for a Nightwing too, yeah. I, I think like I think what we need is like, you know, Nightwing is always like, Put up as I, I I think Jason Ackles just has that rugged feel, you know yeah. that that rugged vigilante. His feel. voice I mean, too fits perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Even even with the silly Supernatural, you know. I oh mean, yeah. I enjoyed him in Supernatural big time, and then there's a reason why that show went God 16, 17 years. Yeah, that Weird show was say. literally on forever. It was almost to a point yeah, where it was like the Simpsons. They're still like, in this their is last never season. Gonna go away. <laughs> they're still shooting. I don't even know anymore. It's it's wild. But anyway, that's really big news for DC, and I really hope they do well. I mean, like I said, I know I'm, you guys may think I'm a hater. I'm I'm very 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 much happy with it. Yeah, uh, yeah. The last season of The Boys, Jason Eccles. We're seeing him more and more in comic stuff. Period. Yep. He's a huge comic book fan, like ginormous. Um, you know, and so is Michael B. Jordan. You know, unfortunately, Michael B. Jordan has he's been put on that that skillet for comic book movies because of because Fantastic of four. But anyway, yeah, uh, you know, that's not his fault. Yeah, but he you was know, he, he, he did really best. great. He did, he, he, good. he did really good as Killmonger. I mean, actually, yeah. oh yeah, some yeah, of yeah, my yeah, favorite Sims is Killmonger, Killmonger was prior to him getting to Wakanda. I I yep. thought after he got the suit and everything. <clears throat> maybe it was just the CGI and everything that kind of took me away from his character, but like everything from when you first met him to, to the physical mess he put on and everything, I absolutely loved him in there. That mm-hmm. obviously it changed, and that's why they're talking about him being part of the J.J. Abrams uh, uh, retelling and revisioning of, of Superman for DC <clears throat> with being a black Superman. Um, but speaking of, of uh, before we get into one of the main topics of today's show, um, you brought up, uh, what was it? Uh, Seth Browning. I want DC, uh, fans to get any W. Here's a W that could actually be very quickly into an L as much as I'm worried for it. And I, if you've been watching the show here for the cast, cast of release, I cannot speak more highly of injustice. And, um, one of the big pieces of information is after the long Halloween part one and part two that comes out, it's either Ju- June and August and July and August part one and part two respectively is, uh, they said next up on the docket for DC Animation is the retelling and bringing to life in an animated feature, uh, Gods Among Us. Not Injustice, but Gods Among oh, wow. Us. Now, Gods Among Us okay. is the first uh, the first one that came out on PlayStation 3, I believe? Or PlayStation 4, excuse me, maybe. But, um, oh, Injustice? Yeah. Gods Among Us? Yeah, so Injustice, Gods Among Us. Now... I love the story. I have all the comic books. It's one of the one of the most fun series and fascinating for me because it really puts every superhero on a level paying field within the DC universe and seeing mm. seeing the the good old stars and stripes, you know, truth justice in the American way finally get to a point where someone makes him snap um is absolutely incredible and how they're going to turn it into a what is it? I think it was about an 8 to 10 hour game. Uh, you know, filled with fights and, and cut scenes and, and obviously something a little bit longer with Injustice 2 um, into like a two hour or hour and a half, you know, movie. I That scares me a little bit, but I know the content is there. Um, and that's something that obviously always scares people is how are you going to make movies from video games? I think this is going to be an interesting one for DC because this is an awesome series so far. Mm-hmm. I assume there's going to be a third um, becoming a a 
movie. Or t- I don't think it's going to be a TV show. They said it's, it's actually going to be a movie, so an hour and a half to two hour animation. I'm excited. I'm scared at the same time, though. I mean, animations is the way to go. I mean, look at look at uh, what's think about one of the worst comic book. I mean, one of the best comic book. Uh, I'm not about comic book. Excuse me, video game series being turned into a movie is Resident Evil. Uh, you know, one of the worst w- movies in the business. <laughs> back and back and back movies. and back and back, back movies, like over yeah. and over again. <laughs> but honestly, uh, Resident Evil doesn't lose steam on hype at all, right? I mean, they just announced uh, uh, Infinite Darkness, which yep. is animated. I'm Saw that. stupid hyped for that. I mean, I'm so hyped because I, I, Resident Evil just leaves you with questions all the time. You're like, what the hell did I just watch, play? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But man, it's supposed to answer a lot of questions, and I'm super happy that it's animated. So honestly, I'm all here. I'm here for the animated movies. You don't like sometimes. There's so much more you could do. You can have the perfect person look the perfect role and not be the perfect role for a live yep. action, but they can be perfect voiceover for them or have perfect, yep. you know, emotion for it. Um, hence, why we're gonna see Jason Ackles play Batman in Halloween. But the good thing is, is like he might destroy it, and people might be like, "Oh my god." Bring on Jensen Ackles, and that, and, and I think that's the smartest route for DC right now is to let the fans choose the casting, because if you do animated series and they kill it and they have like on screen presence, why not? Yeah, uh, I, I think it's I think it's a really good avenue, and we all know that DC has the stronger front in the animated business. Period, whether it's CG or not, uh, well, not movie CG, but you know <laughs> CG as in like <laughs> animated yep, yep. wise. Uh, animations people are here for. I think I think animations are have a soft spot spot now, especially since um, um, Spider Man, um, you know, uh, Into the Spider Verse was a huge huge door for people to walk in and be like, okay, now I'm interested in seeing animation and see oh, why. Yeah. I mean, DC people have been living in animation heaven for a long time, but now that it's opened time, the doors yeah. on the big silver screen, people are more open to seeing animated movies that are not pixar and, and 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 disney and you know and so on and so forth that's comic book related and being okay with it and spending the money to go see it because i'm be honest with you in the past i was like an animated film and in, in the theater nah i ain't spending money to go see that you know uh so it's just like it's it's a good opener it's a good opener which brings us to uh what uh we, we were video games yeah so um, so our main topic today that we're going to talk about we just talked about a bunch of new stuff uh, we're going to be talking about video games. Uh, one of the pieces is what's the, why the long gap between um, some titles, uh, specifically, once again, on the DC side of things. Um, Marvel, we've had Spider-Man. We've had Miles Morales' Spider-Man. Um, this Dark past oh, we had a Marvel September. Alliance. Yeah, this past Avengers. September, we had Avengers, uh, Marvel Alliance before it. You know, what is going on in the video game world? What's kind of next? <clears throat> Excuse me. What may we like to see? Um, and yeah, go ahead, Frank. I was going to say, oh, DC only has Legos. Yeah, Lego. <laughs> I mean, it's the best. I mean, honestly, Legos, <laughs> it's, the so Le- it's a shame that the Legos told the best story in DC when it comes. I mean, you you know, yeah, Batman, Arkham, 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 Arkham. But literally you say, what's, what's your favorite or what's the best DC? And then people are going to say Arkham. It's a shame. Arkham came out a long time ago. Yeah, uh, but the Lego Lego series, Batman's the Lego series, anything DC, you name it, Lego does a really good job at telling the story. I mean, I enjoyed the Lego version of Lord of the Rings. I don't know, almost more than the movies. Uh, the movies were great, but you know, you watch them now. It's like, uh, um, yeah. everybody uh, that plays Lego games, Justice regardless, League. it's it, they say it's it's absolutely they they say it's absolutely fantastic. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, that wasn't a hate on Lego games. I was just saying that's no, yeah. That's the biggest things they happen. But besides Injustice, you know, Injustice is still out there and is doing well. But honestly, the last superhero, the last Superman game was on Nintendo 64, I believe. The Death and Return oh, of Superman. God, it I mean, was that's, so bad, too. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, Justice League Heroes as well. I mean, all these games were just kind of like passed off, just just build off a hype of a name and people bought them because of the name. But the, the games were not that great. Um, I was looking through like comic book games that are that, oh, that yeah. were out in the past. I mean. Dude, I had this game. I had Chalkin, the Forever Man. Dude, that that character. What happened to that character? <laughs> I mean, how many how many versions of Spider Man games did they bring out there? Right for uh, for PlayStation Two. The biggest 2. superhero in the business for though. PlayStation like, Two. Those games were some of those some of those games were horrific, but they were, like but they, they were there. They sold. They did. Spider Man is is that name that that that's instant money. He's the biggest popular superhero. I say in the business. 
Uh, I say even more than uh, Batman and Superman. He brings in money, dude. Like Spider Man just. Oh yeah. And I'm not talking about like powers and stuff. You know, hold your hold your trousers. I, I'm just saying overall, when it comes to a face for comic books, everybody in their mom screams out <laughs> Spider Man. Yeah, exactly. They dollar sign Spider Man. Dollar Spider-Man. sign Spider Man. <laughs> because that's. And, and and honestly, Spider Man wasn't supposed to be the poster boy for Marvel. It's supposed to be Captain America. It's supposed to be like yeah. There were so many other ones out there. Captain America was was literally the poster boy for for Marvel for a long time, even before Marvel was called Marvel. But Spider Man was there. You know, it's, he's uh, he's just likable. I, I don't know. I mean, I love Spider Man. I'm a huge Spider Man fan. The whole universe, give it yeah. to me, bathe me in it. But the thing is, is that. He's a money sign, and and that's why you see so many. There are so many Spider-Man video games. It's incredible. There, there. Uh, <laughs> if you, you actually go back and look, you know, obviously the two most yeah. recent ones were fantastic, but I mean the the ones that they had kind of like in the Deldrum, right, yeah. um, it was oof. They Maybe were Spider-Man. Th- those were Spider-Man. those were those were. You're, I still remember you're just like throwing the the web shooters just randomly into air. It wasn't connected yeah, to air. anything. Hey, it man, was, those games were. They, those were great. The, no, like I remember, I because they and they were short too. They were like six to yeah. eight hour ROMs that yeah, I could literally just start and finish it. I got home from school, I played through it, and I was done. It was awesome. But you know what made that photo Spider Man games great? Because Spider Man had a billion costumes you could collect. Oh yep. So yep, yep yep yep. It was one of the original games that had New Game Plus in it without calling it New Game Plus. Yeah. You you start the game over, but you would have all your costumes. You just kept getting more and more and more and more. I remember I, I bust my butt to get the Black Symbiote costume costume so So hard in that game um yeah it's great and and i think i think that's the thing is that these video game companies are out here not developing the groundworks they want to make a movie in these video games instead of like developing the groundworks of like replayability uh the fun factor of it the animation that's why insomniac is one of the best studios oh yeah hands down they're a fantastic studio their team is incredible uh, I, I am actually friends with the animator that did Miles Morales. And let me tell you, when he did his research and his homework, I, I, I just could I just couldn't believe how much dedication this man had comics for days on his desk. He was flipping through it. He had sticky notes up and down the comic book with key moments on how Miles Morales draws his punches back different from Peter, how Peter Parker does his kicks, how he, he web slings, how Peter Parker has uh, more tension in his muscles when he webs. So that, that, come on, yeah. pay attention to tensions in his shoulders. Bro, that's real dedication and love. And that's why I, I really hope Insomniac picks up DC. Um, you know, honestly, because I just want to see good dang comic book video games, man. I, I want to see more people get into comic books. Yeah, uh, and, I mean, and it's, Lord, it, Remember it, X-Men games back in the day? Oh, Those God. Were freaking fantastic. The original Marvel Alliance was so mm-hmm. much fun on the Xbox yeah, 360, yeah, yeah. I think it was. That game was so much fun. And that was a game that I would never think to play just because of uh, the type of game it was. But because it was Marvel, I played it. I had so much fun. It was, it was, uh, it was so good. It was so good. I mean, as far as, um, you know, as far as games go, you know, prior to Batman Arkham Asylum, Mm -hmm. outside of Marvel Alliance, for the most part, comic book video games were almost throwaway. Yeah, it was kind of fun, but they weren't like these massive triple A titles. And, and one of the- Size Avengers. But uh, besides Marvel Alliance, I think I don't know. I don't remember when Arkham Asylum came out to a Marvel Alliance because that was Avengers, right? What? I can't. Okay, so out beside before Arkham Asylum. So Arkham Asylum, mm-hmm. uh, Batman Arkham A S Y L U M release date before Arkham Asylum. So Arkham Asylum came out. In, oh my God! In two thousand and nine. Uh, prior mm-hmm. to that, for the m- most part. Um, outside of, I think, Marvel Alliance, and I don't know if that came afterwards or before, comic book comic book video games weren't seen as AAA titles. Like uh, they were, they were, they were kind of throwaway. They I mean, were, I mean, they they weren't maybe? huge blockbusters on the critical side of things. I mean, what makes a game AAA is the studio that does it, right? So, I mean, Spider Man was, yeah, Spider Man. I, I would say only probably Spider Man. Because that was picked up by huge studios. And uh, if it wasn't a huge studio, it was a huge publisher. So, yeah, yeah besides Spider-Man, yeah. I mean, the Hulk on the GameCube was, was published pretty big, but it was a shit game. Um, but, yeah, yeah. But probably, yeah I, I would say Arkham Asylum is probably the the, tur- the turning tide in, in comic book video games that, would, that, that gave it 
that sauce that it needed yeah. to get people interested. Yeah, I would give yeah, it to it that. Yeah, it took it away from the corny route. It gave you real... Yeah. I mean, even though Spider-Man had a couple of real boss fights, like the 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 Joker fight, uh, Scarecrow going like through a maze at the same time while ba battling him uh, with the fear toxin. Like, it was... It was pretty uh, it was cool. revolutionary was cool. for for the the comic book video games, and obviously then they went on a roll for Batman specifically for DC. You had mm -hmm. Arkham City come out afterwards by Rocksteady. Mm -hmm. um, you had Arkham Origins created by Warner Brothers Martri Montreal, which was uh, in 2013, and the last introduction uh, in that franchise was two years later um, in 2015 with Batman Arkham Knight. Now, as far as DC games go outside of Lego, it's been five, six years right now running with Rocksteady, and even more than that, seven, eight years running with Warner Brothers Montreal. Which um, is now, we don't know. Which, which <laughs> as, of, as of last year's DC fandom, Gotham Knights is the next game up by, by Warner yeah. Brothers Montreal, and it was supposed to come out this year, and now it's saying it's pushed to 2022 and Rocksteady's Suicide Squad killed the Justice League was announced like this year's a DC fandom and it's saying that it's slated for 2022 I'm going to put money on it if I couldn't say that thing's going to be delayed yeah it's going back baby yeah, there's no <laughs> shot that that's coming out, out in 2022 which is scary because if it is 2022 that's what 9 years since Warner Brothers mm -hmm has created a game, Warner Brothers Montreal with Batman Arkham Origin, and then Rocksteady, if it's 2024, it's going to be another nine years. I'm I can tell you, man. you from experience that it does not take nine years to develop a video game. That's and not an MMO. That's not an MMO. MMO that, okay, okay, yeah. I mean, there's still MMOs that are well, 10 I years mean, plus. I mean, everyone can argue to hell. Yeah, anything that's not massive multiplayer. Let's yeah. just say that. Um, Because... Ugh. Dude, it's, I'm telling you, this because there's no hype around DC right now. It's just no, none. The, the, the news is slaughtering DC right now. Some things I feel like should stay behind closed doors until they have a concrete announcement and not a what if. So yeah. now that now that DC is in that what if standpoint, like who the, who the, what, the how, you know, like people are asking around. I mean, you have to hire multiple, uh, multiple directors to do stuff and, and, and they're not sticking with projects and, there's a lot of inter turmoil going on between the actors and the directors and the vision and stuff like that. They, they where they want to go and the money is being kind of sketchy where it's coming from. And we don't know who's, who's the big boss over DC. It's in a very bad place. So it's very, I don't blame video game studios for being kind of skeptical of picking yeah. up DC games right now, because you're just, you're probably not going to sell. Well, you're probably not going to hit the mark because they don't have a basis to go after. And they, they just sold, and they just sold Warner Brothers yeah. Interactive. Who knows what yeah. division the the video game section is going to be under? Is it Discovery? Is it Warner Brothers too? Now, now Warner Brothers Montreal is a, uh, it, it's not like a, a rock. They're working on right back where blood. Yeah, so like you don't you don't know which way they're running with it. So I, I guess where I'm going with it is, is over the past couple of years, there's been a lot of smoke. With Warner Brothers, very much like you're, what you were saying. Warner Brothers Montreal is working on this version of the game. Here's a trailer you're going to see. Oh, they're actually working on a, a Justice League game. Oh, they're working on this other game. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And that's scary mm -hmm. because you. I just said three different games, and now they're on their fourth. Yeah, the Superman game. Yeah, it's completely so gone. Like, so, like, yep. what, what scares me with Warner Brothers is kind of like movies. Like, they did so good. By saying, oh, you know what? Because this is literally, I think, how the conversation went with Rocksteady. Rocksteady's like, we want to do something Batman. And because up until that point, it was kind of like comic book video games were bleh, whatever. Oh, you guys want it? Here you go. And then they did something great with it. And as much as it was a good thing, it's a bad thing because now we have no idea where they're going. What yeah, I will I mean say, though, is as a big Superman fan... I am excited to see Superman as a villain to go against in Justice League because even as a huge Superman as myself, uh, not in Justice League, in, uh, in Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. I was like... Because I'm, wow. I, for me, how do you create a Superman game without it being OP? You dumb him down because of something that's not the character. Like, I actually like him being a villain that you have to try to take down. And maybe that will lead into something. I don't know. I don't know. But See, I am kind of liking it. That's 
honestly, that's why I don't like Superman is because you can't put him in any, any scenarios where it works out. Yeah. He's Superman. Like he's he's literally like He's he OP. just doesn't his 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 weakness is just so stupid because it's like how does people keep coming up with these dang rocks, man? Like you don't you have to go to a different planet to get this <laughs> like yeah. how do people come up with I don't even know. I you know, I like seeing uh, playing somebody like as uh, Harley Quinn or because they were in there, what was it? Harley Quinn, uh Boomerang, uh Deadshot yeah. and um Shark. And 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 uh yeah, Shark Shark Boy, Shark Man. Like being I'm supposed to be dead. I don't even know anymore. Like like um, taking taking on Superman, taking on the Justice League as those characters, you can use Kryptonite against him, but playing as Superman as a main character of a Superman video game you know, what's the flying mechanic? Like, how do you do that? And that's, I think, as far as Superman goes, why one of the pieces, why he was he was shelved. But why haven't we seen a Green Arrow game? Like, Green Arrow in, in like, the Batman free flow system would be perfect. Because I think that would be, be kind of Batman. cool. I can answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> because it'll literally be another Batman, and people will just uh, be upset that there's not another Batman game. Like, when you okay. sell... See, this is the biggest problem with DC. They just sell Batman, 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 Batman. Here's a little Superman, Batman, Batman. And when you introduce any other component that's just as good or better than Batman, the people are going to be like, why isn't it just a Batman? This is just a Batman with a dude shooting arrows. Why isn't this Batman? I want Batman. You know, it's it's just, <clears throat> excuse me. DC just does a really bad way of introducing other other characters in, in, in the universe. Like DC Universe, there's a reason why DC Universe to this day is still standing up in the MMO world which is hard to do and that game is not that great and it looks like poop yeah. but the thing is, is that people want to have the feel of having more than just batman around done well and you know give it what you say what you want sony sony picked yeah so that's that was sony's joint did they sell it um DC universe and i know it's still around it's been i know so it's long it's been like 11 years or something outside of it so i i don't know if it's owned by sony it was Sony in the beginning, so I don't know yeah. who has it now, but uh, they're doing great. Uh, you know, just like Marvel and Mega was around forever, and and I and I'm very sad that it's not because Marvel and Mega was awesome. You know, I honestly think DC needs a great alliance game. You need a game where you can play all the DC characters together with your friends on a couch session, have fun, pop crack a couple yeah. beers, and just beat some ass. Like honestly, that's what they need. <laughs> I it, love it. Dude, but it's true. I I I, I feel Ultimate you. The alliance was awesome, bro. Yeah. Like so cool. You don't you don't have to fight over characters with your friends, man. You you sit down on a couch session with four people and you pick up like one person got Wolverine, one person got Storm, and then you unlock more and more and more. And then the recent release on the Switch with with the alliance. Yeah, dude, there's so many characters in that thing, man. Like so many. Granted, that game only made a droplet when it comes to like you know uh, hype because it came out at a bad time. Yeah. But people are still playing the heck out of it because you, it was one of the, I swear, Nintendo's really good at just making games with really bad internet, you know, connection. <laughs> it was one of the games that have the best internet connection. People are still playing it. I oh, swear. It's, man. They're so smart. Um, so, like, honestly, I just think that's what we need is we need a game that you can, like, throw a bunch of heroes in it, vigilantes or whatever, especially the ones that people don't know about. Yeah. Like, god dang, Static Shock is one of the best damn characters that DC has. But they don't give that man love. He, yeah, he has a comic book now, and I know one of my friends is actually doing the comic book. What's up, Nick? I mean, it's kind of it's, it's, it's a TV series as well. Or yeah, so, and it's going to be a TV. TV yeah, it's going to be a TV series, an animated series. Like, thank goodness they're giving Static Shock, and it's and it took the original creator of Static Shock so long to bust his butt to get it up in the forefront. And there is a huge problem with DC. He, DC also has a huge problem with bringing up uh, characters of color in general uh, to the forefront. But honestly, there's heroes out there that we that DC has that's just under a rock that are so cool that's not the Justice yep. League. Yep. Yep. Um, I mean, Teen Titans. I would say I'm more in love with them. Yeah. With the idea of them being in a video game than anything because it just oh, leaves yeah. open so much possibilities. Young Justice. Raven would be crazy in some type of game like that just because yeah. of her, her powers and man manipulability. Right. Starfire. Look how powerful as well. Raven yeah. is. You know, like what if the what if what if they went against Superman? Yeah, it's always you always see. I'd be more believable Harley with Quinn. him. You always yeah, see Harley, Harley Quinn. Quinn now. You always see Deadshot. Yeah. It's always Batman. You know why? Like 
What is it following, Matt? Uh, Clarity. It's, Holly yeah, Quinn is it's, hella popular right now. You know, she's super popular. People are cosplaying Harley Quinn. They love her. They they, they love to finally. I mean, Harley Quinn is a great character. I I think she's a, one of the best developed characters in the Batman universe. Why? What's she gonna do? Bonk him on the head with a hammer? Like, come on. Anyway, like uh, like so, D, you you see DC DC games d- did right when they were when they didn't care where they didn't have their hand on anything right when they didn't have their hand on Batman and and Rocksteady came over and was like here you go enjoy. And and when when um Netherrealm Ed Boon ah, said let me take this I want to do something interesting like all right you go great stuff with Mortal Kombat here you go and I, the Injustice is one of my favorite comic series in that also ended up being a video game that was a comic series. like you it's know a what great I mean video game. like like, like it's 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 <laughs> it's yeah. so good the story when they start when they start getting their hands on it. It's when stuff goes sideways and it yeah. it sucks. I mean, if you just hear the stories, I mean, Warner Brothers saw the success of Batman Arkham mm-hmm. City. Sorry, Batman Arkham Asylum and then Arkham City and said, yo, we need to do a filler because it's going to take Rocksteady a while to get to this endgame. So let's do Batman Arkham Origins. Rocksteady hated Warner Brothers Interactive and WB Montreal, and they were supposed to be partners on it because they used characters that they wanted to use in Arkham Knight because Warner Brothers got greedy. Now, Origin was a fantastic game. Troy Baker, outside of Mark Hamill, Troy Baker's version of Joker was fantastic, one of my favorites. It was inspired by Mark Hamill, and I'm down for it. Exactly, but that's where it goes again to, like, it goes a little bit... They... They put their hands into something, and that's why we haven't seen anything. Like, just, just give it hell, up, bro. man. Just give investor it up. Investor hell, man. It, like, think about the time that came out. Batman was really popular. He had the Batman movies, right? Yeah. He was just very popular at the point in time. I'm telling you, investors just smell money, and they just they know they can throw it against the wall and let it stick for a little while. If the game makes the initial sales is good, and after that, they don't care. Like, those are investors for you. Uh, yeah, Icon, yeah. Um, it, It's just... <sighs> It's it's so annoying. I hate investors so much. You need them there because I mean, you know, without investors, you have to go Kickstarter with it, <laughs> uh, and so you're not going to see that from DC or Marvel, right? Yeah, yeah, they're too big to even, they, you know, they're too proud to beg, so to speak. Um, so we honestly, been, I mean, that's been a lot of DC. Obviously, that's my 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 rage right there because I want to see. It's going to be cool to see because I like Nightwing. I like Robin uh, uh, Red Hood in this version of Gotham mm. Knights that supposedly will be out next year by the team over at Warner Brothers Montreal. <laughs> the glimpse yeah. of it, the teaser with the Court of Owls and the gameplay that we saw mm. does look pretty cool. You can tag team with your friends now compared to not being able with the Arkham franchise, but that's DC. Yeah. Where? What about Marvel? Where is Marvel going, right? We kind of well, know. Wait, where hold we, up. I'm oh, going to correct something. Okay, so now oh, with the drop okay. off with Avengers game has less than good streamer. Hold up. Back it up. Rewind it. Uh, let me tell you. Do you know how much money Avengers made, bro? We're talking about billions. The Marvel are you Avengers talking about, are you talking so about much, the game? So much money. The game made so much So then so why are all mo- the reports out there that they lost? Mm-hmm. Like every report that I read on it was like they did not make any of their money back. They made it all back and more because okay. of one little small thing. Skins. Those things sell. Sell. I'm not going to call them out. One of my friends already spent $2,000 on skins. <laughs> I'm not going to sell them I'm out. I'm telling you. <laughs> they sell. Bro, the moment they drop MCU. That I was recently. Yeah, that was, was recently, done. right? Yeah, it was recent. It was done because people wanted, people wanted MCU characters in this game so damn bad. Like, why? Because of the hype of MCU. And people bought into those. Those skins made money, 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 money. And I told you guys, Avengers weren't going to go anywhere. They have Disney backing them up and Marvel. They ain't going nowhere. Like, in the Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics, some of the, the best industry, like the best studios in the oh, industry that's yeah. been around five ever, okay? So five that game ever. is actually going really well. Yes, they lost money in the beginning. That That's obvious. That's most live service games. 90% of them lose money in the beginning because yeah. the content has to come out as After. it goes along. But Avengers is not Avengers is not Star Citizen. Uh, Avengers is not. It's not a hope and a dream and a wish that people are just throwing money up against the wall and hoping it sticks. The game is doing well. When Wakanda comes out, best believe the sales are going to jump. And smart enough, they drop the price down to forty dollars. They have they a marketing team behind okay. Avengers that are just going. And 
I know I'm 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 in a, I can say this. I'm in a special VIP server with them. I know a lot of stuff behind the scenes and I won't go into details because I'm a, not an NDA breaker. But at the end of the day, as you should it be, sir. <laughs> nope, never. I will never burn my name in this industry. Avengers is doing amazingly. So They're then, doing great. So then, for me and for some others out there, so like when the game I mean, came I out, I meant millions, not billions. Sorry. Yeah. So I was like, wait, but there's a lot of money. We sure we're talking about this yeah, Avengers. Millions. Um. Mm-hmm. So so the game came out in September. I played mm-hmm. it. I played the demo. I was hyped. I made a YouTube video off of it. It was. I was like a little kid in a candy store. The game came out, absolutely did thoroughly enjoy it. Chat, agree or disagree with me and your, your thoughts on it. Uh, I enjoyed the story. I loved I loved the story. Uh, the story the was playing good. It was back worth it. and forth of characters. I wish there was more Thor because he was so much fun to play as, but I understand why they held back on it. Um, I thought it was fantastic. And then, but the, the, the end game, no pun intended, was very, very, very repetitive. Yeah, and I know I mean, you got a they couple... They said it was going to be, though. Okay. They literally... See, this, this is the part where I, I don't understand okay. the fans. They said the game was going to be repetitive at the end. They said that. They said this is a live service. Here's our roadmap, and this is what we plan on doing. People were so hyped for the story. The story mode was great. And I think the story mode was worth the $60 alone, personally. Yes, agree. Because... I, I mean, we got, like, what, 20, 25 hours out of that? And, I mean, you got your money's worth out of it, finish, honestly. Yeah. And so you have that, and then you have the element of being able to play with friends. What killed the game wasn't, or what hurt the game in the beginning, I don't want to say kill, that's a bad word. What hurt the game in the beginning was not the fact that it was repetitive. It was the fact that you couldn't match make. That was huge, because uh, the yeah, whole yeah, thing yeah, was yeah, like multiplayer. That. The matchmaking was busted. So people were just like, uh, okay, and then PC, the game just kept crashing. It's funny, I had no issues on PC. (laughs) Again, the game was not made for that current systems. It was not made for the current uh, PlayStation, Xbox, PC components. That was a next-gen game from the start. Yeah. It was extremely hard to run. It was extremely taxing. It, it, It was like everything was there. You run that bad boy in a PlayStation 5 right now, it looks gorgeous. On a PC right now, it looks fantastic. They just introduced Red Room. The Red Room is super fun. It's challenges, like a challenge mode for you. It's a single player one. They introduced free booster for people to catch up in the game. Yeah, that would be, be, that would be away me. Once. <laughs> huh? That would yeah, be me because I do want to get back booster. into it. Yeah, experience booster so you can catch up. And it's free. That's not a cash shop. Only thing in the cash shop is cosmetics. And the cosmetics in the cash shop, yes, you will spend money if you look at it. My goodness. It looks fantastic. Okay. They're pulling out comic book versions of the characters and creating once this was approved by Disney creating the outfits for these characters and throw them in the game and the MCU skin sell the most and of course so yeah. Wakanda is coming out that's yeah, a did new they, story arc is that is so they already have two stories right now they have the Kate Bishop yep. and the Clint Barnes run right Hawkeye yep, yep, and yep, yep. so now that's out now people can play it if they want to uh if they want to get back into it like myself and now Wakanda, obviously, we got that tease a month ish ago, baby. right? It was Chris about Judge. a month ago. You just see him like this boy. and everything. Oh, yeah, boy. There yeah, you go. He's in it. Um, he's so. Do they have a release date for that yet? Uh, Is it the, later this year? It's not a year, release early... date. It's a release time. It's into summer. Sometimes, sometime so in the summer. Yeah. Or fall. Uh-uh. Oh, so it's actually <laughs> relatively soon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, but it's, it's, it's tentative. So, you know, so far, so far, based off of the history of Marvel this year, I mean, not Marvel, excuse me, Avengers this year, they've been hitting every single roadmap. One time or earlier, they've been hitting it. Nice. Um, and and they, they're on a pace right now. They're, they're motivated. They're, they're energized. The fans are real. Like, when I tell you there's... there's I've seen a couple Man, people on my Twitter I have to timeline. Mute that. Yeah. I have to mute the Discord half the time because people are just going hamburgers in there. I'm telling <laughs> you. Um, it's, it's, the hype is real. It's a live service game. It was never, never, it was always doomed to, to fail in people's eyes in the beginning because it's called live service. Yeah. Because live service, those words mean people, people smell that as I'm going to be paying more money for this game throughout this, the service of the game. That's typically what live service does. But every character that releases, every single character that releases on Marvel Avengers is free for you. And the story for the character is free too. The story arc for it, yeah. And you get a battle pass that you can work on. Like, come on. What's the problem with the game? Oh, because it didn't run on the systems, right? The matchmaking wasn't that great. 
but it is now. I was in a match made game the other day. You know what? That's the first time I did matchmaking, and I had that game from womb, so to speak, of the game. Mm. I had it, and it was fun. Good. I actually had fun. I was like, dude, I'm, I'm. They were like, dude, you're playing multiplayer? Because I always go with the bots, you know. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, I mistakenly turned on matchmaking, and I thought it was my my bots, but I, you know, they're not. And and I I played Red Room yesterday off stream, and I enjoyed myself. It was challenging. Okay. They have they have the 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 the, the floor is lava type mode where you're you have different different red rooms have different agreed. builds you know and if you fall in the red area your challenge is over but it's the most oh, experience that you get and it's only for a limited it's a limited time so you want to jump in there uh I think sometime in June I have to I have to look. Um, so for those of you who want to get back, like I see Seth, new nerd, obviously myself too. So they give you some things to kind of catch up with mm -hmm. new content coming out mm -hmm. later this summer. But of course, now you got two brand new storylines with um, uh, Clint Barnes, it, Hawkeye, yeah, Katie Bishop, and then right. Kate Bishops. Mm -hmm. um, then you also have the Red Room that is now, and then you also get like a free yes. XP boost up, like you said. It's called a catalyst. I'm probably going to be oh, playing and, this And soon. that thing does not expire, by the way, if you hold on to it forever. So Ooh. I'm holding on to that bad boy until Wakanda because you know, who knows, who, who knows we're going to get another one by then too. Yeah, I have two catalysts. They don't, you know, I don't think I don't think they stack. But Red Room gets the most experience. So the the, the, the coolest thing is this: if you really want to get back into Marvel Avengers, you have the game. You should play it because you have the game. Once you do Red Room, use your catalyst. And it, oh oh, here's another thing: you want in-game content? What keeps ESO around for so long? Because they have the most poopy. Let's be real; their their expansions are not great. Those are those are just downloadable content that they make expansion and charge you sixty dollars for. Um, champion levels, yes, there's champion levels now in Marvel Avengers. So when you're max level and you feel like you ain't got shit to do, guess what? You got to go over three hundred and something points in champion levels. That's oh, a lot of content. Geez. So your experience goes further after <sighs> you max out and you get and, and and I'm talking about the rewards are juicy like 3% extra range damage per tick yeah every time and that's a lot you can get your your your, your hero becomes a hero hero you know you become super OP and the content's only going to get harder Next and better level yeah so it's like and then uh, you know a lot of people believe this is skepticism this is not something that's that's official I'm going to say not official not official a lot of people believe that spider man is going to drop when wakanda drops because Wakanda is going to be such a hype mode, people are going to buy back into the game if they haven't, or and, and get back into the game. Spider Man is an exclusive release. We're feeling I'm not official, not official. Uh, that's going to be on consoles. That I believe that will personally opinion believe believe I'm covering my tracks is going to be going on PC as well. Uh, eventually, probably a year so, after. So I mean, so. they've they've already announced that, or or when they first announced Spider Man, that he is going to be PlayStation exclusive, but. Because of their workings with PC, you think he'll be eventually on PC as well. So it's going to be yeah, a time exclusive. exclusive. So bro, it's just how many it's, times have Xbox said exclusive and it's just an exclusive release? How many yeah. times have like people that word exclusive just sells copies? There's another team work. Sony is working on Spider Man, so I don't even think Crystal Dynamics is 100% doing everything. He's not getting his own story arc. It's just a character. Okay. Yeah, it's he's, just he's, a playable yeah, he's character. Not, he's gotcha. not a part of the original Avengers because he's owned by Sony. So uh, it's in collaboration, um, gotcha. you know, which whatever that happens, it's going to be Peter Parker, of course, not Miles. So yeah, whatever. Um, but the good thing is, is, yeah, PC is running fantastic. I play I could say I played for seven hours the other day on stream. Didn't have a single drop. Didn't have a single drop. There are so some bugs still. I'm not gonna lie, there's there, there's some UI bugs. I had like my powers bottom right disappear, and I had to restart the game to make it come back. <laughs> but the, the, I mean, those things there's, are gonna happen bugs. in live video games. games. Have bugs, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, we we say it so casually, people believe that video games are, are made perfectly. Um, so but then, yeah, I, so Marvel then Avengers, I'm not saying that because I'm a, a Marvel fanboy. Marvel Avengers is well, I love is the best game we have out right now when it comes so, to Marvel. Uh, so right Z. now, right now. Which is which is a very interesting point, which we just talked about with with um with DC and their and their games. So when you think of when you think of Marvel now, uh, it's a little bit more catered towards PlayStation because the exclusive rights, at least for um for uh Spider for Spider Man. Uh, so you had Spider Man on PS4 uh, release mm -hmm. in da 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 twenty eighteen like twenty eighteen. So September 2018, and less than or approximately uh, September. Actually, it was 
pretty much the same time. It was, they had three it was, DLCs as well. Uh, yeah, they channel. had a lot of DLC. Yeah, so it's 18 to 19, thing. 19 to 20. So two years later, you had a full fledged triple A. Of, what was it like? Almost 20 hours of story as well in Miles Morales coming out in from the same studio, Insomniac. Um, yeah, which was which, a movie essentially. <laughs> which was a movie essentially, and it God actually like. outdid everything. Yeah, um, just like even all of, of its predecessors, like Horizon and God of War, blew away all the the Sony um, uh, sales for exclusivity. Yeah. Um, and then shortly, shortly before that, obviously, we just said in twenty uh, uh, twenty nineteen or whatever it was was when Marvel Avengers came out. So where where do we stand with Marvel as far as where do they go next? I mean, obviously, they've set up. Um, we the, they've DLC set up for Miles another. Morales. They've already set up for another Spider Man with the with the end credits of both with with uh, Harry Osborn and what looks like symbiote, um, which is going to be an interesting take uh, on the character that we know of. But mm -hmm. but like, are are is it just going to be games of live service with with Avengers? Isn't it just going to be Spider Man Exomniac? Do we see a a potential another studio coming in and, and getting their hands dirty or not dirty, but nah. we're working on another character like an Iron Man game or a Hulk game or something like that. I don't think so. I think I, Marvel plays it very, very safe. They they put their money where Marvel doesn't spread money out. Uh, they they follow the hype. Right now, the hype is Spider Man, uh, and and Avengers. You know, they they literally when I say they poured a lot of money into Avengers, this is an understatement. Oh, no, we know. Yeah, yeah. Um. Avengers has to do well. <laughs> like it's just simple as that. The fact that Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix can get together and work work something to to stop a sinking ship from sinking, uh, that's huge. That's a big it's deal. Big, yep. so I, I think they're honestly just putting gonna put their money into Avengers because you can release, really, dude. Avengers is 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 easy to make money. You just release characters. As simple as that. They put Wolverine in it. Stories it's game over. It People are good, jumping yeah. in it, right? You put Wolverine in it. You put Spider Man. Dude, Spider Man is two things. Spider Man is popularity. Now that you have exclusive Spider Man, uh, you know, <laughs> I mean, not exclusive, but inclusive. Uh, if you have like you, Miles Morales, is money, money. All right. So Marvel is smart. Triple A title, Insomniac. They know they can handle. They can if they want any kind of single storytelling on a superhero, they give it to Insomniac. They know they're gonna make money. Avengers, you can stick characters in there. Let people play the character they want. Essentially remaking Alliance because essentially that's what it feels like. Yeah, I feel and that. On, I get you on, on that, Nun. Yep. Yeah, on a bigger scale. But what do you do in between, Matt? Mobile what? games. Mobile games. Yeah, they, they have that new mobile game coming out, right? Yep. Um, Money. That, that, that's you know been why? Going you know out who, there. You know who they, they modeled their system after? Genshin Impact. Money. Oh, money, God, money, yeah. money, 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 money. Genshin Impact is one of the biggest mobile games in history right now. They're destroying it. And how do they give people's money? They just release characters. Like, <laughs> bro, I logged back in and I I didn't spend money because I already had the, the 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 credits. I logged back in. I ain't played that game in a year. Bing, bing, I, or, bing, it's not bing. essentially a year, like eight months. Log back in because they had a cool ass character that I've been looking for for the whole time. I was like, hey, I'll just go ahead and get the character. It, it, it's dude, Marvel. So you thinking good. right now where where DC is sticking with Batman essentially, and then obviously mm. Harley Quinn and Suicide Squad, because those are the things that are out there anyway. Your 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 thoughts are you're gonna see you're gonna see Marvel stick with Insomniac and as far as right now goes Spider Man and they're gonna keep the games of service which they've already stated moving forward so you don't think or I mean obviously anything is potentially happening along with mobile you don't think you're yeah. gonna see another um like Iron Man or Thor standalone game Iron Man is an Avengers why Thor is an Avengers why it's it's like why okay. why do that when we could just keep developing stories and characters and have a cash shop with skins from famous comic famous comic books dude there are people out there that's busting their butt right now in the red room to be world first and it's it's not impossible but it's gonna take them a long time uh our friend eddie monster is one of them there bro these people are busting their butt for digital comic books digital comic books in the game that you can't even open okay that, that gives you stats on your characters but the fact that that's in there there are people that spend money on. They put animated uh, head plates in there. Yeah, I plates. saw that. I saw that. Yep. Bro, do you they know how much that. that sells? They're just name plates. <laughs> people, the fans are out there, and the fans have money. All you need is one good well. That's it. You, yeah. you just need a few, a, a few good. Well, not one good well is just like figuratively speaking. You're, you're, you're right on that one. I hear you. You, you know, know. You, you, you get a hundred wells together. They, they're, they're, they're making you money that you would never make if you just made the game sixty dollars and that was it and be done with it for a story. You know, like. So, do you think? Do you think is it gonna take? 
I don't know if we did this off stream when we just had our coffee that day or if we talked about it on stream then. Obviously, we got Wakanda, we got Spider-Man, we got more stories that are going to be told through through Marvel Avengers. But um, what about Spider-Man? I mean, I assume, where do you see them going? Like, oh, are Miles they, Morales are they, DLC. So you, It'd be so, dumb if they don't expand on Miles Morales. And then after Miles Morales, they should do Spider-Man. Spider-Man. So you don't, you don't think right now that the next title that we're going to see, not DLC, but next title will be... Uh, the the Spider Man two the the continuation of Peter Parker's journey in twenty eighteen yeah probably probably people people yeah I, I mean obviously both Spider Man and Miles Morales are doing good the reason why I say Miles Morales DLC gives them more time to work on Spider Man two because Spider Man two has to be Spider Man one they uh, yeah. Insomniac put their backs it, against the wall and you already right? you already defeated the Sinister Six already like come on now you yeah. you ready you ready you jumped the you didn't now you got the big boys yeah you know you now you have to introduce venom and carnage now you have to introduce the inheritors like i think I, i'd rather not see venom and carnage honestly i'm sick of them like i'm I, i'm sick of people just ruining those characters so if you're not going to do it don't I mean, insomniac is the first first studio i say would do it right but if you're not going to negative do it, man was fantastic yeah oh yeah he was fantastic mr. Negative, you know why mr. He's negative, fantastic? excuse me mr negative yeah you know why he was fan fantastic because he's not a really well-known character to people and people loved him. Yeah. So the inheritors, bro, I am down for that. Do Spider Man art? Guess what? You bring Gwen Stacy. You bring all these characters that people fell in love with with all the movies and stuff. You just throw them together and have them as selectable characters. New Game Plus, unlock this, unlock that, unlock. You know, dude, it's <laughs> boom, man, boom, boom. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> I will spend money all day on those DLCs. These are paid DLCs, by the way. These ain't free DLCs that come out. I bought every one of those, but you, you better believe it, man. I got Spider-Man. I did, I told the studio, don't even give it to me. I'm buying it. Like, <laughs> you guys have crushed it. But that's that's me getting excited about video games because people took the time and mm -hmm. love to put the same effort I would put into it. It shows. Like, Back for Blood. You oh, know dude, why that game is so me, hype right now? Dude, you and me, we need to play that game when that comes oh, out. Yeah, I'm down. I am I'm down. so I am loved the Left 4 Dead franchise and when i played the the alpha what was it, like two months ago i had so much fun with it that game was insanity it was so so good you know and they're doing it, it right you know why because they have freedom now you know yeah, the whole, I, I interviewed those guys and you know they're they're the left for left for dead guys they didn't even want to really be associated with it i mean they 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 know that they're known for doing it. These are original left for dead guys when left for dead came out it was it was the genre breaker it was yeah. something that we needed and it was great, but Steam hold Valve, excuse me, holds the rights to Left 4 Dead. That's why it's not called Left 4 Dead Four or nothing like that. So Warner Brothers back picked, for picked blood. them up, yeah, and they made Back for Blood. And Back for Blood is is what every every single piece of ounce of everything that Left 4 Dead should have been. You know why? Because these guys are mature now. They're experienced. They know how to make people like get hype about a game. And the stuff that they're introducing with Black of Blood, Back for Blood is stuff that they wanted to do from the get-go that they didn't have power to do. Yeah, I mean, it's um, it's Turtle Rock Studios. Um, yeah, it's, Rock Studios. it's the exact developing studio that did uh, uh, Left 4 Dead 1 and Left 4 Dead 2. Obviously, mm -hmm. they, they kind of split off of what they did for yeah. a little bit and went to um, Evolve, which was a fun game, but it just fell flat, unfortunately. It was, it was before its time. Yeah, it was before its 100%. time, yeah. And now, and now they're back, um, not under the guise of Steam. They're with Warner Brothers, and mm -hmm. now they're they're making back for Blood, not back Left for, for Dead. So um, yeah. I'm very, I'm very much like you. I cannot wait for I think this it's summer to get another demo. Uh, uh, yep. Get it out there like and a beta. October 12th, 11th, 12th. One I think it's the dates. 22nd, right? Yeah, it's oh, something oh, with it's a two. The something with a two. I mean so, the 12th. I think it's the 12th. I think it's the 12th. Yeah, I think you're right. But yeah. um, but but spinning it back. Um, I do like what you're saying with with Spider-Man. Like I do, mm -hmm. I, what would be cool is if they did the uh, kind of like a, a movie kind of team up route. You got Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Get the Spider-Man again because I think the original idea was for Spider-Man with Peter Parker to be a trilogy. Um, utilize mm -hmm. some de some dead time right now to get a Miles Morales DLC out there, yeah, DLC and then do the team up for that trilogy. So it's mm -hmm. Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Miles Morales, which we just had, which is fantastic, obviously. Get another Peter Parker story out there with some uh, Miles Morales DLC in there. Tie it all together, and then for the, the last piece of the trilogy before Miles Morales goes on his own, or we start getting crazier version of the Spider-Men out there uh, mm -hmm. as playable characters in different multiverses, because uh, just, just, just 
It's just money. Bring bro. it out there. Yeah. So that's money. So, so that's free money raining from this guy. So like, do we the, think it's going to be then if you go on the two year gap, 18 to 20, do you think we'll get it next year or do you think we'll get it in I like 23, we'll DLC. 24? No, I think we're getting DLC next year uh, for Miles Morales. If not, yeah, definitely not the end of this year. Uh, well, there's a big game show coming up, um, by the yes! way. Uh, yes. I can't really go into detail about that because NDA, but still, uh, that should have information on stuff. I don't know if Miles Morales is in there. I don't know anything of that nature, but well, if for, they do for announce June. Miles Morales. Huh? No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, June, yeah. If yeah, they for, do if they do shoot out DLC for Miles Morales, I, I I would say in early next year or fall of this year would be great, okay? Because that'll that'll be the one year anniversary, so to speak, because Miles Morales came out a little bit after my birthday. Or before yeah. my birthday. Before my for, birthday. For those of so, you who don't know what Technique is talking about, uh June has got a pretty big month uh happening for them Games right Fest now. Like you have yeah. um you have obviously Rare drop, smile. You got GCX, uh, obviously the yes. fundraising that we're going to be doing here. You actually are going to be going to the moon. Uh, we just announced host for GCX last week, two amazing individuals um, with more information to come. Presumably, of course, I have no idea over the next couple of days and weeks leading up to uh, every one of you going to the moon. Uh, for GCX, we obviously have uh, what what Frank was alluding to, Summer Game Fest. Jeff Keighley is well known, mm -hmm. probably the most known when it comes to late breaking yeah. Uh, video no, game no. news and bringing it out there with the game awards. Uh, so many amazing uh, uh, names are going to be out there. I'm actually just going to bring up the tweet that starts June 10th. And then yeah. obviously that we're getting a rolling a train right now for E3. What that's going to look like. I'm not really hyped for E3 personally. I feel like summer nope. games fest for video games specifically is that big thing now. Yeah, um, and I, and, and, and I can't wait to see what GCX is going to do. I have no idea. But based on timing, I would really like to to see what our friends over um, yonder at Rare Drop have to uh, have to come up with. But mm -hmm. uh, last year gaming, was man. great. Yeah, it's it's a great June time for huge. gaming. June is June the is time. Huge. Yeah, I, I think yeah. Like I said, I think DLC is gonna come for Miles Morales either end of this year, like fall. Because Insomniac's known for that DLC. They'll be like, yeah, DLC. Then they'll show a teaser and be like, oh my god, when is it coming? And be like, this time. And you're like, yeah. Or or it'll be early next year, and then everybody wants a two-player version of spider-man yeah i don't know <laughs> and I, I i don't know i kind of like the single-player experience man that that experience is something that i kind of just like to go at my own pace because you know but i mean it doesn't hurt to have the option to have two players whatever yeah so um, as far as summer game fest goes it is partnered right now with give me a second to run through these 2k activision amazon games i can never pronounce this anatropia I think it's called. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bandai it. Nam is it Bandai? Yeah, Bandai Namco, Blizzard, yeah, Capcom, Devolver, uh, Dotemu, EA, which won't be at at E3. They're E3. done with them. Epic yep. Games, which is interesting because they've officially mm -hmm. became a publisher last year, working mm -hmm. with Remedy Studios and a couple of others. So I assume you're going to hear Fortnite, but they are now a publishing house again. Uh, Finji, Frontier, Gearbox Software. Yep. High res <laughs> intersloth, uh, Koch Media, Metaconic, uh, Muhoyo, PlayStation, um, oh, which... Mihuyo. 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 There you go. That's uh, that's Genshin Impact. Okay, there you go. Um, PlayStation with like EA will not have a presence at E3. Um, I can't read. Oh, Psionics, uh, Raw Fury, Riot Games. I can't believe this name is still around. I kind of completely forgot about them. Saber Interactive. I completely <laughs> forgot about them because because they have publishers. Um, Sega, Square Enix, Steam, uh, blah, Ubisoft, Warner Brothers, Munch, Warner Brothers Interactive, Wizard of the Coast, and Xbox. So speaking Huge. of comics, it's a new E3. I mean, speaking of comics, you could in theory once this start going, you have Square Enix. So you're probably going to get more information about Avengers, Wakanda, yeah, and what's probably likely. next after more that. Likely. PlayStation, maybe a tease of Miles Morales because it will be like a six, seven, Exclusive. eight ish months, give or take. Um, I'm interested to see more about non video game Horizon, Forbidden West, and of course, I want more God of War Ragnarok personally. Wait, did they say personally. Gorilla is going to be there? Um, but they're PlayStation. 
if that oh, wait, falls under Sony? the guys wait, of PlayStation. Wait a minute. Sony PlayStation, said they're going to be... PlayStation is officially partnered with Summer Games Fest. Oh, So my we are going to be getting night, a press E3. conference and information regarding PlayStation. Bro, you can write E3 off the market yeah. right now, man. <laughs> and then the, 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 um, the wild card is Warner Brothers. Are we going to get more Rocksteady suicide stuff? Are we going to get more stuff I bet you that's for, back for, uh, for hype, Gotham? 100%. Because... Because don't forget, DC has announced their next fandom, which is happening in October as well. So it would be nice to get that. a little bit of something, just like a little update. But, yeah. I mean, there's a couple of things that we can look forward to outside of, you know, seeing Xbox. Please give me something Halo. But, um, yeah, yeah there's definitely some some comic book related, you know, hype fun stuff. Yeah, that's what we could be, be hearing over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, absolutely. We're definitely going to hear new comic book news. No no, no doubt about it. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm I'm, sure Avengers is probably going to show another teaser. And this is, this is like I said, not official, not official, not official. Um, I'm, I'm, I feel as though they'll show more Wakanda teaser because that teaser was like literally like, I don't know, 12 seconds or something. Um, and that's all they needed. I, I was done. I was hype. I was just about to explode. So, but, um, so it's actually a crazy week. I'm sorry, yeah. I had to look this up. So June 10th is Summer Games Fest. Mm -hmm. E3 is June 12th to June 15th. And then you have us over here with Rare Drop and GCX starting June 17th, chat? I believe. Somewhere so like, this there. is going to be a crazy week June, like for said, gaming, for, for live streaming. If you're yeah. a fan, like this is going to be... June, you're going to be overload. You may need to take a nap daily from the information that's going to be, uh, yeah, gonna be uh, happening out there. Yep. I mean, I'm here for it. I'm, I'm excited. This is a great time for gaming. Yeah. Uh, you know, there, there's there's outbreaks that are happening left and right everywhere. Uh, we're, we're, the, the, the virus is not done by any means. People are acting like it is, which are dumb. But anyway, um, the outbreaks are happening everywhere. Um, things, things, are getting, things are getting rowdy. So I shoot being at home is great. <laughs> you know, being at home is great yeah. when we have all this news and stuff coming out. I mean, and, and who knows? We still have Comic Con and stuff like that coming up too. So it's just like there's a lot, a lot of stuff happening right now. And E3 is just not the source of video games anymore. It's just not there. Um, you know, they need to go back to their roots of just being a big business thing because honestly, E3 is looking stale. Yeah, I mean, San and, and Diego E3 took they took it away from Twitch and gave it to G4 again, which. I mean, childhood in me, the child in me is like, yay. But the adult me is just like, I loved covering that. <laughs> you know, like yeah. I felt like we know our audience better than G4 does. No, no offense, G4. I love you guys. But I feel like, I mean, granted, they're grabbing a bunch of hosts from, you know, a lot oh of boy, my parts, Alex. But yeah. I mean, is it really going to be the same? Is that is that humor? Like, honestly, I was looking at the humor and stuff that they do. It's still old school G4 humor, but I don't think it resonates with the, the crowds nowadays. I just don't think it does. I, I, but you know what? I, I Whatever. If it's gaming, I'm here for it. If it's comics, yeah, the I'm here more for it. Long things as it's out there that's coming out mm. and breeds competition in some instance, and it's not absolute poop, Um, you know, that that is going to be a good thing. So... I mean, obviously, we're gonna get some more. Uh, we're gonna get some more video game information over the next couple of weeks, and in doing so, right in the midst of that, obviously, Loki's gonna be coming out shortly thereafter. You brought it up. Uh, we're gonna be getting uh, um, in July. We are gonna have a digital version of San Diego Comic Con. So, will Marvel have a presence there? Will DC have a presence Absolutely. with fandom? Um, you yeah. know, is is Marvel biding their time? Obviously, they put that trailer out two, three weeks ago. Uh, you know, back to the movie trailer. You know, setting up. For future iterations of things, we got the Shang Shang Chi trailer um, out. You know what are we gonna look like since DC officially said in October they're doing something? Is Marvel gonna do something? Um, it's a very good time to be a fan, not of just video games, but obviously um, of of this of this uh, um, genre in geekdom mm -hmm. because we're gonna have a lot of things that we can grab on a weekly basis, a lot of news, things that we can sit down and physically uh, see or, or or touch as well as games and uh, and obviously us here on Saturdays yelling at your ear holes with what recently went happen and some topics that are out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. We are up. Oh, yeah, we are at our last segment. So we're going to go over. We always like to do something cool and fun at the end of each yeah. uh, segment, um, which was, uh, you know, we did verses. We did all kinds of stuff of, of that nature. But this time we're going to do 
something that I was really excited for, and that is uh, tw- like superheroes, like goofy superheroes, like stuff that that are just like, why is this a superhero? But they're stupidly OP. Um, and uh, yeah, there's some there's some interesting things out there. We brought up a list. Um, CBR.com is a really great source. Yeah, we brought up a list. Uh, started with number twenty, Squirrel Girl, and yeah, she's stupid OP. I don't. I, God, when this when this character was announced, I was really upset because I was just like. I forgot I forgot the origin of this character originally. I think it was something like somebody made a meme about a squirrel girl and they just drew her in a comic and of course the people out there love cute things and she became something and then the next thing you know she's defeating Thanos in a snap of an eye or a blink of an eye I should say. Um, but yeah, Doreen Green, aka Squirrel Girl uh, she's the poster child of being goofy and people know that she's there. Uh, she defeated people like Doctor Doom and and also Thanos by doing yeah. the exact same way she defeated Doom by summoning a, an army of squirrels. I, <laughs> I don't squirrels know. took down one of the strongest. Oh, God. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I don't. But know. she's a character that people love, and they were able to get away and do something different with it, with that allowed um, fans to not see something coming for once. Right? Yeah. Yeah. They love her. They love her. Uh, all right. You want to take the next one? <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Give me your Sam. taxes. Uncle Sam, what's the only two truths in life? Death and taxes. And here's one of them. Um, yeah. This is from from DC. Of, co- of course, this would be from DC. Um, you know, during the t- this is once again coming from uh, CBR.com. Uh, during this time of quality comics, the profile writer and artist, Will Eisner, who's huge, I uh, came up with a superhero named Uncle Sam. Sam, I mean, what, what, why, why yeah. is this happening? I mean, I've, over the years, things have changed. I'm just trying to read and skim as I talk here, so I apologize, chat. Um, Sam was well written as a result of a, a occult ritual held by founding fathers. Interesting, <laughs> though. Though his powers have undergone a lot of change over the year, Uncle Sam has been shown to be invulnerable, capable of changing size, and traveling through other dimensions. And on some occasions, he can even predict the future. So this man's was created by a result of an occult ritual held by George Washington and the Founding Fathers. Are you kidding me? I don't even... And we move on. And we move on. Like when you Danny Google things, street. do you believe these things that you can see here? Like it's just wild. It really Danny is. Danny the street. What is this? Uh, uh oh, it's DC Universe. Oh god. Way to go, DC. You go from Squirrel Girl to Danny the Street and Uncle Sam. Was it? Is it? A, is it literally just a street? I think uh, it's just the street. Oh great. Oh wait, yeah. This is this is literally a street. So this is a sentient street. If you watch the Doom Patrol chat, he's actually in. Uh, this character, it's not even a he. This character is portrayed in Doom Patrol, the show that's on HBO Max right now. It's a sentient oh, really? street. It they actually do it really streets. well. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I forgot about this. Oh, my God. All right. So, uh, he acts like a safe haven for strange and disfranchised yep. people and then kill them. Okay, cool. Uh, man, Big Bertha. Big Bertha. Look okay, at this. Man. Getting back to uh to to Marvel Comics, Great this Lakes is, Avengers. Uh, they've had a co- so West Coast Great Lakes, obviously Avengers. There's a you know, the Young Avengers, kind of like uh, Justice League. You know, yeah, just I mean, society. Well, you need, have a lot of them. Kind of need Avengers in every city. At the end of the day, true. Uh, so she can grow beyond the size of a normal human. She gains superhuman strength. That makes sense. The peak performance, Bertha uh, has been shown to be able to lift as much as fifty tons, leap massive distance, manner similar to the Hulk. Ability to control her mass also grants Bertha enhanced durability, which allows her to shrug off bullets in extreme temperature and impact from her giant leaps. So she's so a combination of, 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 of Hulk and... Um, I think she's a lot bigger than Hulk. Actually. Um, Not not the blob. Uh, uh Kind of like Mr. Fantastic then, even. Because she can stretch, right? Bertha. Oh, God. This one. This one. Batmite. This is up there with uh, Spider-Pig. Uh, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Batmite. Yeah, he's like the comic relief. Yeah. It was the comic relief that they randomly spawned in there for <laughs> you say Bertha casual. Yep. Uh, though he may not be technically a hero, Batmite Heart uh, <laughs> is certainly in the right place, making his debut in Dictabonus in 267 by Will Finger. The artist showed him on uh, the fifth dimension. 
talking yeah. about talking about bringing other dimensions in. We got this little bat mite over here. Uh, he generally ends up causing trouble for the Cape Crusader. I remember that. Uh, Batmite is a true blue fan of Batman's work. Kind of like, um, think of it as Bizarro is a huge fan of of Superman. Now, obviously, there's powers and other things like that, but he yeah. wants to be friends with him. That's kind yeah. of Batmite in this instance. Um, he doesn't really have anything, you know, incredible to to do, but he's got he's got some some love for Batman that makes for wild and uh, um crazy i see a sneak peek of number 15 and i don't know why they're on here but we'll we'll, we'll we're yeah, gonna... it's a comic book essentially true manga is comic comic is manga and, and one punch man is is as goofy as it gets um, it really is yeah i mean he's just stupid ass he's just stupid op he can like kill you in one punch i mean his name is one punch for a reason um i love one punch man season one was great season two not gonna talk about but, i don't uh, remember finishing season two so i guess that's it's, a good thing don't even don't even we are they doing a season that. three or has they been confirmed no, i don't no? even know i don't know the comic books are way better just read the manga okay honestly okay so y'all ah uh, here we go x, x -Man. man not x men x man go it's ahead Nate gray himself yep 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 from the multiverse um i forgot what yeah <laughs> oh yeah the omega machine that's it yeah this power is drained for the omega machine uh, Omega level mutant with far too many powers to list here. Yeah, so if you guys don't know about the Omega versions of of certain characters, it's they're as OP as you can get. Um, and I think that's why they named Omega for uh, X Men the video game because there were so many powers involved yeah. with it. But yeah, they'll, yeah, the Omega machine that the see that this person he's called X Man because he literally had almost every power of let's say almost every X Men. Um, yeah, I mean, who used genetic material from Scott Summers and Jean Grey to create the Ultimate Unit. I mean, obviously, over time, different character, different writers, and different artists are going to tell a different story, but that's the main one. But like you said, he's called X Man because just about every character that's out there in the X Men universe, um, he 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 has their their power and and um, uh, abilities. Excuse me. Yep. Swamp Thing. Uh, you see now, Swamp Thing. I grew up loving. Um, I don't know why, but something about the character and his portrayal when I was growing up, like, kind of went, it made me kind of go towards him. Uh, they did an interesting job on so. on the new, yeah, right, on the new, his comment's funny, um, on the new series, um, the telling was a little bit darker of a tale, and I kind of like because the character really like is dark. Thing. Yeah, I don't like going warm and fuzzy with him, but, like, the way they portrayed him in Justice and in the show, even though it's not getting a season two, I really, really enjoyed it. For those of you who don't know, uh, it was created by Alan Moore. Alan Moore is a huge name, obviously an OG name mm -hmm. uh, within the within the comic book universe. Swamp Thing is an ent elemental being who was created by botanist uh, Alec Holden when he died in a swamp and his bio-restorative formula, there was this formula that he has created, uh, bonded with local plant life and absorbed his consciousness into his memory. So... Yep. At some point, his body, like his dead, literally decrepit body, kind of like comes out of this swamp thing creature. But it's kind of just kind of like a um, think of it as a uh, kind of like a mech suit or not a mech suit. What are those suits that if you're like dead, you kind of just like go into them and you're kind of like a being in them? Oh, uh, like your essence is kind of in it, kind of like uh, yeah, yeah, kind of like what Tony Stark did. Um, and yeah, I mean, I mean, essentially, he's like a druid. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a great way to put it. He's yeah, kind of like a giant druid. Uh, it's it's awesome. Um, injustice in injustice video game, he's even cooler. Um, oh yeah, the injustice video game is nice with yeah, him. It's very it's very dark, very dark and gritty. I think if Netherrealm picked up Swamp Thing and made their own game, I'd I'd, I'd be down for it. But, you know. Yeah, the cool thing oh about it is, is like it says here, Swamp Thing is questionably one of the most powerful beatings in the D P beings in the DC universe, thanks to his connection to the Green. A network which binds all plant life on the planet. I mean, pretty much, if you're in New York and you do something stupid and he's across the world, he could just connect and just, like, throw a root through you and you're dead if he wanted to. He is he is a very, very powerful character. Yep. <laughs> Number <Stardust>. <laughs> oh, Yeah, this man. character is ridiculous. Um, yeah, he can literally make certain objects come disappear or appear. Um create things out of nothing he had, i think yeah he has a radiation belt uh to grant him various rays and beams um he's comparable to superman he's got a tiny head uh 
Uh, yeah. The, these, this is back. Okay, so this was made with, back when comics were like definitely, definitely golden age, nineteen thirty nine. Wow. Golden age wow. comics. Yeah, golden buying comics. Yeah, it's old, 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 old. So you're gonna have the they they always had the most ridiculous things. They didn't go pretty far when it come to they came to like volumes and stuff. But you had a good run. Um, now, now I, I like this one being here because this is a, another main character within the universes, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Captain Marvel sh- uh, slash sh- Shazam. I thought it was a pretty good movie too, but the character is unique, right? So Billy Bastion, um, a young teenager, um, can summon the powers of a, of a god by yelling the word Shazam, right? Mm-hmm. And, and the power of the being comes down in a bolt of lightning, which you could use to hurt your enemies as well. Um, so the original incarnation, Billy was granted the power of the gods by the wizard Shazam. Uh, whenever he spoke the wizard's name, Billy would transform into the ageless Captain Marvel and was endowed with a number of incredible abilities and strengths. In addition to more traditional powers like increased intellect, strength, and flight, Billy also displayed the ability to heal himself and others, speaking multiple languages and even uh, endowed others with this power. The one cool thing mm-hmm. about... Um, this character that I always loved is it wasn't Billy changing spots with Captain Marvel. It was still a 12 year old, 13 year old Billy Bastion just looking and acting essentially as Superman with lightning powers, which was always fun because the way they fought and the way he always interacted with other superheroes, it was like a A kid, kid. a a kid. It was really a kid, which, which made it always fun and unique. I love them in Young Justice. Young, I thought that was oh, one yeah. of the best, one of the best uh, inter- like renditions of the character because it was just super well done, and uh, you still got that kid form of him, got the power from him. Yeah, uh, it was really good. It was good. Infectious Lass. Oh what? my gosh, what the heck is? I don't even know this character. Oh, uh, what is uh, this? Superboy. Uh, so this is DC, of course. DC okay. got the weird stuff, man. God, there's a lot of DC saying. going on here. Species is immune to diseases they carry, allowing her body, her bodies, oh, excuse me, allowing their bodies, there's two of them, uh, to be used for biological warfare due to their inability to properly control her powers. Infectious last earned a reputation for, ac- uh, for accidentally infecting innocent bystanders. Or We're here. Her allies We're here. Her result wasn't chosen to join the Legion, but... Uh, eventually went to become a member of the sister team Legion of S- Substitute Heroes. <laughs> the Legion of Substitute Pete. Heroes. I mean, come on now. Come on. I mean, that just says it right there, right? I'd be uh, so sad to be that person. Dude, oh, just go around infecting substitute. people. Sounds good. What is dupe? Oh, no. This is the what guy from X-Force. Is yeah. this? Uh, oh, what? It was what it was like it was like a slimer that I looks was exactly like Slimer, yeah. Yeah, that was a meme. Uh, uh, Dupe is a Slimer-like creature who is an ally of the X-Men. Despite his ties to the Munich community, it's unclear what the source of Dupe's powers are, but he certainly has a lot of them. He's one of the few oh. heroes in the Marvel capable of going toe-to-toe with Thor. What? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, this is, okay. So, you, you know Duck? Uh, What's his name? Something Duck. Howard from, the uh, Duck. Marvel. Howard the Duck, yeah. Howard the Dork, Duck. You know how Howard the Duck has like a dark, like humor. This, yeah, this guy is like porn relief. I uh, mean, I can he, see by this certain thing yeah, that's over he's here. He's yeah. got the. It's a dark humor. It's it's that dark humor like series of. He he came out when when that was a thing. So it's, like, it's like people needed something that was a little bit more adult. His most it. hilarious trick is his power of funk. Okay, and moving on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is uh, another Doom Patrol character who's in the show. Oh my God, this one's this one's a, this one's a funny one. I'll Lex. let you go with it. This one is a, this one this one is like, how did you come up with this power? So go ahead. <laughs> Ben's rules of reality is by flexing his muscles. Yeah, you know? Ben Damn. the reality. Like, come on, <laughs> come on. You know, I, I don't know. I, I kind of like. I, I don't know. I like these goofy characters. It's um, fun. It's fun outside of just super strength and. I'm the good hero. Like seeing it go a little bit sideways, I agree with you. It's uh, these are these right. are kind of fun because this is a different thing than what you normally talk about with Batman and Superman and everything. Ah, mm-hmm. here we go. Here's a big one. Here's a big one, chat. Yeah, yeah, we gotta we gotta speed this one Deadpool. up. Deadpool. We already know he's okay. You guys as hell. know Deadpool breaks the fourth wall. Can regenerate his body. Can literally be torn in half and still come back later. Loves uh, Chimichangas. Awesome. 
big, yeah, big comic relief. Huge, 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 huge love from the fan base at Captain Triumph. Captain Triumph. Crack uh, Comics, man. Uh, crack man. Comics. Okay. Man, yo, actually, uh, yes, Matter Eater, Eater Lad, I've seen before in yep. comics, and I want to say that they put him in some animated thing that yep. I've seen. Yeah, I, I actually Legions remember him superheroes. He's been metal. He's been in some type of uh, DC animated uh, yeah. features for sure. I, yep. I've definitely seen him, yeah. Yeah, capable of killing Superman because he can just down anything, apparently. Yeah. Uh, Merlin, I mean, everyone knows the story of Merlin, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I forgot that he was actually put into comic books at one point. Uh, Impossible Man. This is kind of very much like Batmite. Um, mm -hmm. The Fantastic Four, frequently Impossible Man, is more of a wannabe than a true hero. Uh, he demonstrated the ability to create life through mitosis, uh, which resulted in the creation of his wife, Impossible Woman. The two have, <laughs> the two have been shown to be able to travel through vacuum space. Once again... Um, in creation with Stanley and Jack Kirby, two amazing, obviously iconic individuals. Uh, they were brought out there. We kind of just kind of flown through this because it is getting a little bit yeah. uh, late here. Her, what? Yeah, Herbie, Herbie the Bat the Fury. Bat Fury. What is this? Silver Age of Comics. He has a red onesie and wearing a plunger on his head. <laughs> that sounds like a bedroom kink. Oh uh, my! He has magical God. lollipops, man. That's why he's always sucking on them. Oh my uh, god. That's where his magic comes from. I, I yeah. Yeah, there it is. Inexplicable fame and incredible luck. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh this one pla Plastic Man. Plastic Man. Yeah, I've I've seen Plastic Man's been around for a while. Uh yep. it's DC Universe, but I've seen a, back in the day, I've seen a lot of good stuff. Uh Justice League. Uh I feel like Justice Yeah, was it Justice League? I think there was an animated series that he was in with, yeah, with Justice kept League. Up I mean, Plastic Man. And there you go, guys. Of, there's there's kind of a uh, Flash list. as well. Flash as well, the TV show, yeah. the theory. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. There's your, here's your silly heroes that are ridiculously OP. Um, granted, there's there's a lot more out there. This is just their list. Um, but interesting stuff. I mean, like I said, you can find anything any, anywhere. Uh, as always, guys, we want to take the last 15 minutes or so, or maybe maybe 10 minutes or so, to uh, get any questions from you guys. Is yep. there anything you'd like to see on the show? Uh, comments, concerns, and anything else yeah, that we you want to talk about? Um Things that you like to keep up with, things that you like to see, uh, we're, we're all ears. So please, by all means, if you have any questions for us, please ask. Um, it looks like uh, we're going to be covering some. I haven't seen Jupiter yet. I know we keep holding off. It's just because I had a really, it's a really rough week of adjusting to being my own boss. So, um, you know, it was a little hard. So I couldn't really, I didn't even watch any TV whatsoever this week. <laughs> which is really weird for me. Um, but, uh, I will be looking at Jupiter. I'm, I'm going to be watching, uh, army of the dead this weekend as I, well. I'm going to try to get um, into that too. Yeah. So, you know, if you guys want to check that out, army of the dead is comic related. So, uh, you could definitely, you know, watch that if you want to have something, uh, um, so, did. so actually Seth brings up a good point here. You know, I'm just patiently waiting for Loki. I can't wait. I mean, obviously we came out yes. at an interesting point. It was the end of Falcon. There was a. A, um, a kind of a, a quote unquote dead space with what was going on, but we want to be more than obviously the TV shows. But with Loki coming out, we, we're, we're going to definitely be talking about that. And it's unique, right? Because now it's coming out on Wednesdays and no longer Fridays. Yeah, and, yeah. and we're going to be live, you know, Saturdays, you know, morning ish around 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, depending on wherever you are in the world. So um, I think Wednesday to, to Saturday gives uh, hopefully some good window for, for people to, uh, to kind of get into it and uh and, and watch it as well but uh you know we're going to be talking about loki obviously we're going to be getting news and rumors about many things coming out um there's a bunch of great comic series that are coming out there that we want to talk to you more about but mm -hmm. but um obviously then after that you have july you have black widow movie which i'm very interested to see what they're going to do with it because of uh because of just it's a prequel like where are they going to go with it how are they going to set up the future stuff then obviously shang chi uh what if series Eternals, but 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 yeah, um, I can't wait to talk Loki too because like WandaVision, it's gonna be very different than what we're I think mm -hmm. mostly known or mostly seen from the from the universe. Yeah, from Marvel. Excuse yeah. me. There, there's 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 a there's a lot there's a lot that they can do there, and uh, I I really hope they go outside the box. Like I don't like I always say my my superpower is predicting and then like just predicting things. <laughs> 
But I really hope they go outside the box on it and really blow our minds. I mean, they've been doing such a good job lately, so yeah, I, I feel like I feel like they're gonna do it. Um, uh, yeah, Castlevania is. I'm I'm in the middle of watching season four now. It's fantastic. It really that's really not is. coming back, unfortunately. But they got some cool things yeah. on the horizon from Netflix anime cartoons as yeah. well obviously we talked about it last week he mans the masters of the universe being a a a, a full-on bringing back and c- coming at the end of the original series with kevin smith and the graphics that were out there last week i'm a huge fan of that um netflix has got some uh, good things going for them for sure yasuke which was done by the legendary LaShawn thomas i mean i mm. yeah. i expected more I expected more to come out of that, uh, just because it was Lashawn Lashawn Thomas. It was not bad. It's just not what I imagined, uh, because I, it, when I hear Lashawn Thomas known for his comic <laughs> books and stuff like Excuse that, me, I mean, granted, he doesn't write the things; he draws them. Um, and and from his past shows like Cannon Busters and so on and so forth, I felt like the action could have been a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been a lot better. I mean, it was great. I mean, you know, like like I said, it's not bad. I'm not I'm not saying it's horrible. You shouldn't watch it. I'm just I just expected a little bit more out of it, um, and that was it. You know, it, it was it was it was a good watch. Uh, Yasuke, uh, the Lashawn Thomas joint, which is uh, it's uh, based off of a, a Afro samurai that's during the times of Nobunaga. It's on Netflix. Ooh. It's it's it's, 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 it's good. But it, I just wanted more, you know, whatever. But but that's it. It, it. It's a good joint. Definitely watch it. Um, LaShawn Thomas is very very known in the comic book world. You know, like I said, we don't only cover, you know, just like flat out DC universe and stuff like that. Like I said, anybody that's been in the comic book world and stuff, I always support I support them. Uh, they're going into the anime world. I mean, you know, LaShawn Thomas is also known for Boondocks and and so on and so forth. So, um, I expect a little bit more out of it. Hopefully, if they get approved for other seasons. You know that he goes that route. Sometimes it takes a little bit slower to tell a story in the beginning to have character development. And I understand that, um, so I'm here for it. I, I just want, I just want to see more. Yeah, you know, yeah. Put on the watch list. You'll, you'll be, you'll be excited. You know, after watching Invincible and stuff, it's kind of what you need to kind of cool down from all that. <laughs> I mean, granted, it has, it has a lot of gore and stuff in it, but it's not Invincible. You know, it's not. But I didn't expect that, but I expected some like akira type action from Lashawn because he normally goes a little over the top so but so what's your uh what, what's your plan for this week my man <sighs> i'm busy this week <laughs> i have a lot of hosting stuff to do this week uh Good, man. but if i can find any time i'm definitely going to try to watch jupiter at least one episode of it uh this weekend i have to watch army of the dead because of i have to talk about that show something um, you're doing okay yeah, something I'm doing, so I have to watch that. I'm excited to watch it because I'm I'm really excited to see Dave back on in the, on on the screen, yeah. whether it's TV or or big screen. Um, one thing that I'm kind of like questionable about, I don't know if I ever want. I I really miss going to the movies, but I don't know if I ever want to go back to the movies, especially with people burning masks and stuff and like acting crazy out there in the world, not getting vaccinated. Um, everyone's saying we see you back at the movies like i know they're trying to push themselves back into the movie theater to, to give the movie theater money but honestly i really like the scope of having the option to just watch stuff at home and pay a little bit more money i think i think it's even more money for the game for the movie uh yeah i think i think i think it's gonna be told so, later this year what's gonna happen i mean yeah. i mean i know people are already taking taking things back like dune is going into theaters it's not just gonna be it's not gonna be hbo max anymore so they're kind of pulling away from that. So I'm I'm kind of interested to see. I, I feel like whatever the box office, the box office is going to dictate what what how we consume movies and media later this year, I think. Because yeah, if everyone I mean, just goes back to normal, I mean, I, I, you know, it's... I don't ever want to go back crazy. to normal. It's <laughs> crazy. Never. I want to go b- beyond normal. Just go back. Just go forward just in go. life. We don't ever have to go back. I want to go like, plus ultra. I, yeah, I hate I hate the word normal because normal for us was coughing in each other's faces and being in each other's airspace and spreading germs constantly. I haven't been really hardcore sick for over a year because I've been True. wearing a mask this whole time. True. And I'm vaccinated, but I'm still wearing a mask. Uh, you know, it's just it's just those things where I hate when people take these these ideas that they're invulnerable and they're just going to sit there and 
burn masks and tell their kids to burn masks and don't get vaccinated because it's a it's a five G uh, chip. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Like, oh my God, I love that joke. Even though it's you know, I mean, I, I, dude, I'm a movie goer. I love. Oh, movies. dude, me too. I love it so I much. It's the one thing I, I, I miss. Can't even I can't even count how many times I've been to midnight releases. Not just yeah. for superhero movies, but like hype, Lord dude. of the Rings, getting yeah. in at twelve, going through like forty five minutes of 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 uh, trailers. Then getting into the three hour romp mm -hmm. and then leaving at like five o'clock in the morning. Like it was Dude, it's, it's Oh my god, it was so good. Avatar. I loved the movie IMAX, so much. I worked yeah. in the movie theater when I was sixteen years old. There and, you, go. you know, for, for like three years. And it was just because I loved the movies was a magical place. You know, yeah. it's it just especially when I was younger. But you know, having that ripped from us, it it hurts. But if it's like life or death situations, I I'm not going. You know, like I I sit at home. I understand why they want to put movies back in the movie business, it's you money. know, back inside of the theaters is money because like, honestly, let's just be real. If you offer something that just paid service, they could just put it on YouTube and thousands of people, millions of people can watch it for free. Yeah. You know, and before it gets cut off of YouTube, so They'll find a way to rip it. it. Yeah. I understand it, but yeah, uh, uh, that I'll, pay, is... I'll pay the $30. They should do the option of having to be able to pay $30, man. That is, that is something that I'm interested in seeing before we get out of here. Um, uh, Disney Plus, obviously, with, with switching Loki to Wednesdays now, I am very much, I am, I, I, we, we could talk about this maybe next week too, but, um, I'm very interested to see about a year from now what it's going to look like. Like, I feel like Disney Plus is setting up for a, for it to be like a CBS or a Fox or a, or an ABC where every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, hell, even Saturdays and Sunday, you're going to have, it's going to be like a network television series, but just digital only. Mm. Now, it's not always going to be, obviously, Monday through Friday, you're going to be able to watch brand new episodes of every single Marvel TV show. It's going to be maybe Monday is Mar maybe Wednesday is Marvel. Maybe Monday is something Disney related. Tuesday is is uh, Star Wars. Thursday, because they're going to have so yeah, many yeah. projects going on out there. At, you at can't, you time, can't yeah. do a once a month thing rollout wise, right? You're right. going to have overlapping. Right. So that's just, that's I kind of, I kind of like that. I, and hell do Saturday and Sunday morning cartoons with brand new X-Men and Spider-Man series or something like that. So, yeah. I mean, I, I'm down. I don't even have a cable provider because I only do same thing. I don't have it anymore like, either. Paid services now. Yep. I same. love streaming services. It's the best thing that ever happened to, to, to TV because I get to save money. And not and not waste my time with other stuff because literally all the stuff that I'm paying for, uh, I'm still I'm still under the seventy dollars for crap TV, like <laughs> you know, and I'm loving every bit of it. Uh, I agree with the Disney access. I love access. I I love I love the idea. I don't care if it's thirty dollars. People are like oh, it's thirty dollars. Like, who cares? It's an option. You can you don't have to do it. You know, but I'm gonna do it. Eventually, it'll show up on on Disney. Yeah. For you know for for whatever you pay per month, but that's. I want to see it now. I'm 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 an instant gratification dude. I want it now, Dad. Yeah, that's how I am. I see. Like, I go in a Marvel Avengers game. I see a suit. I gotta have it now. I'm buying a suit. I don't care. You know, when you spend your money on digital stuff, I don't care. It's my enjoyment. You know, so yep. so I make the money. <laughs> I don't make money just to let it sit. I'm making money to like be able to pay bills and, and enjoy life. So yeah, I I I really enjoy the movies. I want to go back to the movies, but it, I won't be going back to the movies probably until. Uh, 2022 three <laughs> yeah. you know two or three it depends on where we are in this world and right now it's just not looking good you know um, and who knows huge... and who knows even how much it's going to be to go to the movies right now right like yeah. oh yeah like i'm, I'm like sorry jack it up, i mean 30 dollars at home for me and my wife to sit down instead of 40 dollars even that like that 10 dollar yeah. difference is, is 30 dollars a household people don't yeah. understand you can have like literally you and the kids, the family, a cookout, and all watch the movie on the big screen. Yeah, Put I mean, even if even bro? if I'm not putting it up on the big screen, being able to just have it on my phone and sit down yeah. on the couch and watch it, like yeah. I love that. I love that accessibility, and I okay. mean, it it it's it, it's crazy that it took what it did to get us there, but I mean that that ten year ramp. I mean, I, I mean, it's, it's going to be fully digital at some point, which is going to be interesting. But uh, but but, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. It is uh, yep. 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is, is for us to go. Episode four is a wrap. Uh, we got some cool things coming at you next week. With uh, keep us uh, keep on the lookout on the rare drop channels and our own twitters, which you see over here. My name on Twitter is Nighthawk Plays. 
um, on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube. You can find me out there. I stream every day here on Twitch in the morning. A multitude of different games. I'm still fundraising for the kids and families over at St. Jude. Got some fun things to go with this week all the way up to May 31st. Uh, so if you want to come by, check me out just like Technique over there. Uh, please, please do. We appreciate all the love and support uh, uh, today. Uh, Frank, what, what do you got? What do you got to uh, say before is, we get out of here? This is me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. That's the Twitter, biggest Twitter, place Twitter. to find out anything and everything that i'm doing other than that if you want entertainment by me is here on uh twitch it's just technique you just take off the tv and they got the name right there so uh yeah we're we're just we're playing all the games i'm gonna think i, th I think i'm gonna finish resident evil a village today um and uh i'm playing Sekiro because i haven't played it and currently we did some knockout city last night it was really fun played oh, knockout city with my home girls oh really uh, quick how was that game from devolver the uh the temple run s looking game oh that game was dope i loved uh, that game i put my name in for a code right away as soon as i saw it because i'm like this looks you, so unique did you hear back uh no no uh sand sandbox strategies you need to hit them up Okay. Um, you need to make sure you follow them on Twitter, by the way. Okay. Sandbox strategies. Um, they ding, yeah, ding, that ding, game ding. slaps. It's so good. It's like the simplest. Like, man, that game is intense. Uh, if you, there's a clip of me on Twitter, if you guys want to see it playing that game, it is intense. Uh, it, it's really fun. I didn't think I was gonna be that. It's really, it's really the simplest. All right, things, there man. we go. Devolver Digital is just really good at making the simplest things. Like we're publishing the simplest things, like Loop Hero. Uh hours on that um but yeah yep 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 yep. also so jupiter's legacy soon jupiter we're, we're gonna try show? to we're gonna talk about it yeah that's the show uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh no, we'll, we're gonna try we'll, to talk we'll about it we'll talk about it next saturday at least the first episode hopefully yes yeah at least the first episode i'll definitely watch it I, I, when i go to the gym i'll just throw it on or something if i can't watch it at home um yeah we'll definitely talk about it yep, all right yep, so there chat so we're gonna head on out whatever you're doing for the rest of your weekend please enjoy it have fun, laugh, have a cold iced beverage uh, <laughs> on us. And uh, yeah. whatever you plan on doing, have some fun uh, before your work week begins, most likely on Monday. So until uh, until next week, chat, my name is Nighthawk. That gentleman over there is... Techniques. See you guys <laughs> later. We'll see you next have time. a good Saturday. Bye. See you next week.